I just thought you guys couldn't hear me. I just, I just realized you guys couldn't hear me. Sorry. <laughs> my cat, look at my cat. I was talking about my cat. That's all I was saying. Look at him. He turned his, he turned his back to me because of uh, my lights. He doesn't like my lights. Yeah, you guys didn't see anything. Mally, thanks for the sub. At tier one, Zena I thought he was a tier three. Subscribed. Mal, if you're my boyfriend, you have to be a tier three simp. Come on. What's going on? Yeah, I'm making sure you guys, I was testing you guys to see if you were paying attention to me. Yeah, Leo's behind me today. I have like a pimple. Mally gifted 20. Small Whoa. Has gifted 20 subs to viewers. Whoa, look at that. Anyway, I have a pimple like in my lip. Look at this. Look at this. How does that happen? It's literally inside of my lip. Don't ask me how that happens. Leo face reveal, his back is always to us. Don't worry, he just looks like a, a regular orange cat. <laughs> Look at his hair on my mic. Always cat hair. You have one in your eyelid? I've never had a pimple on my eyelid. I don't know if like my eyelids can would be able to grow like a pimple, but you know, the, this lip one is so painful. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. Thank you. Abby I appreciate it. Team just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. Who got subs from Mally? Let's see. Any any of you regular chatters? I think it's all lurkers. Oh, no, you're. You're Uverith. I saw you. You were like one of the first ones to talk in chat. You got a gift sub. Congrats. Congrats. Hi, Bella. How are you? Guys, I'm getting so... I'm getting so good with curling my hair. Look. I've been using my new hair curler, my beach waver that my boyfriend got me for a Valentine's Day. Also, my thumbnail popped off. Look. Now my thumbs are barren. You can see like the gel from where I had my nails. Look how thin and weak my nails are. Look how thin that is. Oh my gosh, my nails are so thin. The one, no, the, the pimples in the nose are really bad too. I agree, but yeah, I'm getting so good with curling my hair. Like look at my hair now compared to how it was two streams ago when I didn't know how to use my hair curler. It looks like so much better now. You like the blue eyeliner? Thank you. Thought I would try it out today. Thank you, thank you. I feel like there's mascara on my eyelid. Yes, there is. Look, you can see the mascara on my eyelid. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I also have glued nails. Mine are gel, but um, you have to adhere them with like a gel, like a layer of gel, so. I think my nails need a break though, cause I've had nails for so long and nails on for so long my nails need like a little bit of a break to kind of like regain their their thickness because my nails are so thin from the layers of gel i have to put on them also all the filing is really bad for my nails too so i don't remember the last time i didn't have nails it's been a while oh so on Thursday, we had a blizzard in New York where I live. We had a blizzard. Yay, I love snow. I love snow so much. So that was amazing. All my classes were canceled. Um, and Thursday was supposed to be my busiest day of the week. Listen to this, guys. I had to go to class at 10, 10 in the morning. That's my first classes. Calculus two class. After that, I have a 45 minute break and then I have to go right to my computer science class till 2 35 so i'm at school from 10 10 to 2 35 which isn't that's like not that bad of a day but after that i was supposed to go to a women in stem field trip to like a local it place just to kind of like i don't know it was like a women in stem thing so i just signed up for it it was like a little field trip after cl my classes so i was supposed to go to that right and then right from there the class i'm a part of in my local area um it's a game design course and i was supposed to go right from from the field trip at my school that ends at six right to the game design course at the library at 6 30. so i had to like bust my i would have had to bust my ass to get over there but 
because we had a blizzard on Thursday. Everything was canceled. My class was canceled. The library was closed because my school was canceled. The field trip was also canceled. So like I was literally saved. I would have had to leave in the morning. I would have had to get up at 845 and I wouldn't be home till like 830 that same night. So I would have been out of the house for like 12 hours, which is crazy for me because normally I'm a homebody and I'm like always at my house, always on my computer playing games and that stuff. Chloe asks, you love snow? I do love snow. I love snow. And yes, I do drive. I have my own car. Why does the schedule say you're testing in Zoe? Oh, shoot. Did I? I haven't updated my Twitch schedule in a while. I bet it does say that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Let me change that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. That's not what's happening. <laughs> That's not what's happening tonight. That has not been happening since for a while <laughs> since playtesting ended. Oopsie. I always forget to edit the, the stream schedule because I don't like I don't know if people look at it ever. So I'm like, I, I just it just skips my mind. Yeah, playtesting. That, that's not what we're doing. We're playing Sims 3 tonight. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, Sims 3 every Saturday, 7 p.m. I'm gonna do 7.15 because normally I've been a little bit, I've been a little bit late. So, Sims 3. Store legacy challenge, exclamation point. There we go, save. All right. Word after PAX, PAX East? Oh, is that coming up? Daisy, thank you. Daisy Gardner, that sounds like Sounds like someone I named my Sims. Daisy Gardner just subscribed. Is that your real name, Daisy Six Gardner? Months. That's such like a, like a like a movie character name. <laughs> um, we got a snow day in New York City like last week too. Yes, love snow days. Not to be a woman and stem from home. Oh, I taught my first uh, girls who code class. So in America, it might be in other countries too. Your that is your real name. Whoa, Daisy Gardner. That's like that's like such a sim name or like a movie character name. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mally gifted another 10. Thank you, Mally. I appreciate it. Malachi has gifted 10 subs to viewers. She called you Malachi. Oh, that's so rude. That's so rude. No way Nightbot called or the Texas Speech Voice called you Malachi. He says heading out. <laughs> <laughs> Thratza, thank you for the resub with Prime. Thratza, I think you were the first. Just, just subscribe. I think you were the first ever VIP on my channel, which is so cool that you were like the first one to get it. You've been, you've been a, you've been a long time um, watcher, viewer. Do we have any? Let me see if we have any pending VIP requests. Did anyone redeem a VIP that I haven't given to you? Probably. I'm gonna assume probably uh oh false god yes you redeemed one i don't know what i'm gonna do because i'm at capacity i'm at 50 people which is the max limit i can put on my vip so someone's gonna have to get the axe someone's gonna have to get the axe i'm sorry hi andre hi nia VIP doesn't do anything. It just gives you a little diamond by your name in chat. It's just like kind of like a flex. Like I've been here for this long and long enough to get a, to redeem a VIP. All right, let me see. We'll have to give someone the ax. Um, see, here's the thing. A lot of people lurk. And so if I take, if I give somebody the ax for the VIP and they're a lurker and they're like, hey, what happened to my VIP? It's tough. It's tough. Hi, Nia means you're a maddie nation do the oldest redeem the oldest redeem was zimmer z i don't have i haven't seen them in a while uh oh sky sky also redeemed but sky's like never here and also i'm on like a talking basis with her so i feel like she wouldn't mind if i redeemed or if i removed her vip if i didn't redeem that risky woohoo i'm gonna be a vip right now um Nico asked, please, please, how do I edit mods? Because I have a turtleneck hoodie combo, but I want it to be a t-shirt zip up. Oh, that's like, that's like you're going to have to talk to a CC creator because I have no idea. Like, I don't, I don't know the first thing about messing with um, CC and like meshes and that sort of thing. All right, Kawhi is a VIP. Kawhi is my artist for my channel, so I'll just remove her because, you know, 
Jesus, she's chill. She has the artist badge, so I'm sure she doesn't mind. All right, false god, you have the VIP now. Congratulations. Oh yeah, I was also gonna show my video game. So I was, I got cut off by talking about VIP, but in America, we have this organization called Girls Who Code. And basically what it is, is, and this is not spawned, so don't think it is. I'm just talking about this, but it's basically like just women in code, like teaching young girls about how to code and engineers and that sort of like basically promoting them to be in engineering fields and, and that sort of thing but um i have been teaching uh or i taught last week on tuesday no monday i taught a class for girls who code so yeah using it as like a little resume i taught the i thought the girls are probably about 10 years old and one of them might have been even younger maybe like eight i taught them about html and how to make a web page which is pretty cool so yeah i did that last monday really cool i'm trying to i'm just trying to get like opportunities for my resume you know that sort of thing um unfortunately the area i live in i live in the suburbs so i i, I taught it at the local library there was unfortunately only two young girls i feel like they don't advertise it as well as it could be especially because girls who code is like a really big organization i feel like we could have had a better turnout but um yeah, so I uh, did that. And then my game design course that I was talking about also at my local library, I made a video game. It's a really bad video game that I was showing you guys it, but it's done. So should we quickly play test it? It's really short. It's in the line of like the game called Only Up. If you guys have ever heard of that game before, it's like a parkour type of game. So I'll quickly show you guys it. It's really short. I have my boyfriend play it. I had my cousin play it and I had, um, it's just, I don't know why I did it like this. Okay. Sorry. I'm like, I mean, the game is kind of bugged because on my, on the game, the home screen, you can't like click it, but, um, all right, here's my video game. Everyone, are you ready to play it? This is the game I made. Can we hear it? Do I, do I need to turn it up a little bit? Here, let me turn it up. Let me crank it. Let me crank it so y'all can hear it. This looks like Fortnite. So the reason why it looks like Fortnite is because I use assets from Epic Games. Um, Epic Games has their own like launcher. Or and it, Epic has their own game software called Unreal Engine, and they give you like free assets to use. So that's why it looks like Fortnite. Yeah, it's like Fortnite parkour. So it's called the Floating Isles. As you can see, there's lots of floating islands everywhere. And everything was, I made for free. So I didn't buy any like 3D models or anything like that. Epic gives you all these 3D models. Um, but here is my little parkour game. Looks a lot like Only Up or the graphic, the gameplay wise, it looks, it's like Only Up, but I feel like the graphics definitely look like Fortnite. <laughs> oh no! I fell. Okay, so I also coded in this feature. If you fall, it will reset you. So there's like a, a, a kill plane. That's what it's called. There's like a kill plane here. And once you hit the kill plane, it will teleport you back to where you just were. So if you like fall down here, you can't because I put a kill plane there. Um, so after that, you go up these stairs. And this is the hardest part. My boyfriend said that this was tilting in. This part was really difficult for him. Hey, Bib, thank you for the sub. Oh, just subscribed. It. But yeah, you gotta kind of go through here. And there's like a sweeper. It's really tough. You can get pushed by it. Uh, oh, and I landed on the sweeper. This is a bug from this game. The, the game I made. It's bugged. So if you end up... If the game registers that your feet were just on the sweeper, it will occasionally get bugged. So I, I need to do something about that. I should have like a checkpoint system here rather than like a teleport you back to where your feet were just on the ground. But yeah, little little parkour moment. I was struggling so bad to complete this. I was trying to show my mom this game and I could not complete it because it is difficult. Um, oh, let's see if I get it. Yes, I did it. Oh, no, I fell. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, oh, look at that. Come on. No, I can't make it. You got to go quick through the sweeper part. Otherwise, you'll uh, get swept away. 
Maddie with the coding skills. I used what's called Blueprint. And it's basically, it's not even like type and code out. I mean, I could probably code this if I, it would take me longer because I don't really know what I'm doing with coding like games and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the game. Um, and then there's a UN screen. It's a little bit off centered, which has really bothered me, but I just didn't, I didn't fix it. Anyway, that's the game I made. Super simple, but that was my first ever foray into like creating games and things like that. So I feel like it's a pretty good start. I got a pretty good start. Maddie Obby, thank you guys. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you guys are very supportive. Thank you. The amount of times I rage quit, I feel like I've done it so many times. My cousin messaged me because I sent him the folder like to play the game. He messaged me and he was like, this is this is actually kind of hard. <laughs> You should consider Fortnite maps too. They have Unreal Engine. Yes. I don't know if you knew, but there might be a typo in the title. Oh, did I typo in the in the stream title? Mouse City is about to break something. Let's see. My new save file has rekindled my my move for Sims 3. That's definitely supposed to be love. <laughs> my move for Sims 3. This is what happens when I'm trying to go fast and just start stream. My has rekindled my love for sims 3 oopsie did i make any changes to the warehouse when i did not i did not make any changes to that one that one is the same i have to add sound effects that i feel like that game would be pretty fun if i added sound effects and like more objectives and, and things like that all right thank you space apples also for the catching me on the title <laughs> my move is also rekindled <laughs> Yay, I love that my boob has been rekindled. Oh, that's us, Maddie. Speaking of making games, have you read the book of tomorrow? The book, tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. I have not. Actually, the book I'm reading right now, I know you're talking about video games and stuff, but the book I'm reading right now, this one is spicy, y'all. This one is so spicy. If y'all like spicy books, give this one a whirl, because I'm telling you, I'm like three chapters in and I'm like, I read this and I'm like having to fan myself because girl, it gets steamy really quick. But yeah, it's like about, um, it's like about, I mean, it, it says it on the title, Twisted Love. <laughs> he has a heart of ice, but for her, it's so corny. If you, if you Google this book and you Google this title, the other there's like two different covers this there's like another cover for this book and it looks so cheesy it looks like wattpad fan fiction <sighs> yeah that book was on my bed when i came back to see my parents today what how many pages have you read not that many probably like 20 or 30. oh i'm from the uk i'm just in the process of setting up my sims 3 mod folder since i had to reinstall my game uh oh Twisted Games, the sequel is amazing. Oh, is there, there's more? I can't read, I mean, I can, but I mean reading books isn't fun for me. I wish I could get into it. Audiobooks, audiobooks are great. I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now. That that book is a struggle to get, to get through, I've heard. My grandma read Lord of the Rings and she's like, it took me forever to finish. Gotta make sure my mic isn't doing like that stupid staticky thing that it does. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, I think it's good. Do we hear any static when I talk? Uh, I hear like very slight static. Let me kick around this thing on my floor. I have this. It's meant for my mic so that it gets louder. Because this mic, to spare you the over explanation, this mic requires like power. Oh, look at my cat. Oh, now my mic is even more staticky. Ah, uh, I kick around the stupid box. On my floor, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. ooh, <laughs> uh, mic test, one, two, mic test, mic test, mic test, one, two. No, I think we're good. I go ah, uh. <laughs> cam, cam cat. I know. I need, I need to put a camera on him. Yeah, you guys, you guys kind of saw his face. A little bit of a Leo reveal there. I'm actually surprised he stayed in my room this long because normally he will leave. He leaves rather quickly. Okay, so diving into Sims Sims 3. Are we ready for some Sims 3? So guys, I am so excited. 
Also, someone did a hydration earlier and I didn't re redeem it. So let me do that right now. Audiobooks when I play games, I like doing that too. Like if I'm renovating a house in Sims 3, which God forbid, because I suck at renovating houses, I like to listen to audiobooks. <clears throat> Hi, Ko Koi Koiheim. Koiheim. <laughs> Hi, Ma Maya. Maya, I remember you because you said you live in Hawaii and I'm jealous. Where, where can I find audiobooks? Audible. Audible has great audiobooks. They have like every audiobook you could humanly imagine. Um, I was drinking Arizona earlier. Does anyone like Arizona? These things used to, used to be like 99 cents, but now they're like more expensive than that. Spotify. Oh yeah, Spotify has some audiobooks too, I think. Why did I just touch my mic with that? Like my mic is so hairy for my cats. Rubbing up on it. I just put that, I just put the, the mouth of the drink. Arizona's crack, no it is. Do you listen to podcasts? I used to. I really like the podcast called, this is so, I, if you're not a true crime girly, you're like, Maddie, why are you listening to this? But it's called Murder With My Husband. And basically it's this wife who's really into true crime. And she talks about like a true crime case to her husband because her husband like isn't super into true crime. It's very much of me in the vein of like me and my boyfriend because I'll tell him about true crime cases and then he's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Mally, Mally gifted, Mally gifted some subs. Oh, you can see his face a little bit. Lily. Lily. The people want to see you, Lily. Oh, baby. Yeah, Libby, you can hook up your Libby with, if you have like a, I don't know if that's an American thing though. And I know Harry is UK based. I've never listened to Morbid, no. Rotten Mango. Oh, that's Stephanie Sue, right? Why do you and your boyfriend's name just fit perfectly together? Maddie and Malachi. Yeah, if you're American and you have a library card or your local library, you can hook it up to this app called Libby. Or there's another app called Overdrive. They're like the same thing. And you can get free audiobooks from your library and you can rent them. It's amazing. Haley Elizabeth. I haven't heard of Haley Elizabeth in a while. I used to watch her all the time. I had to stop. Unfortunately, I had to stop watching True Crime because it was making me really paranoid, especially the stories about like online stalkers, especially because, you know, I have an online following. Ew, I hate saying that. I feel so full of myself, but I had to stop because it was getting in my head. It was making me really paranoid. So I, uh, I had to stop listening to true crime and stuff because it was it was it was to the point where I was starting to have dreams like nightmares about true crime like cases happening to me. And I, I had I had to stop it when it starts when the stuff starts penetrating to my dreams. No, I can't like dreams are one place where I like to go and escape and dream about nice things. And the fact it was like true crime stuff, like bad nightmare stuff, I had, I had to stop. I had to stop. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I've been doing lately. Um, what do we go? Oh no. Okay. There's a bug. I'm going to show you guys it because maybe someone else has experienced this too. There's a bug with Sims 3 and EA app. You guys notice how I move my mouse like very little. Like I'm clicking my mouse three button right here. I move it very slightly and it like zooms like it's like flying. This is a problem because I'll show you how to fix it. Super easy fix and it has to do with EA app. So if you're on if you're on Steam, I don't think you will have this problem. But yeah, it's the spinny glitch. I don't know if it exactly has a name, but the spinny glitch is a good name for it. If you go into let me make sure nothing pops up and then like my email doesn't pop up when I hit up my settings. Uh, I don't think it should. Make sure nothing comes up. No, I don't, I don't think it should. OK, if you go into your EA app, you go into your settings. So if you go over to the gear over here and then go to settings. First of all, turn off usage sharing because this is like sending them diagnostic information and I'm not giving EA no diagnostic information. I'm sorry. And they don't care to collect my diagnostic information anyway because it's a Sims 3. I don't play the Sims 3. And then make sure you have in-game overlay off. It's not letting me turn it off for some reason why yay but you have to have in-game in overlay off 
um, open the in-game overlay using shift F1. This causes a problem with The Sims 3. If you have this overlay on, you'll get this spinny glitch where your mouse is like zooming around. So you're saying I have to close out of the whole game, Harry? Oh my God. Just why? They could have like, Steam has it so you can turn the in-game overlay off when you're already in a game. And Discord has that feature too. All right, so now that I close out my Sims 3 game, now you can see that I have this option. It's not grayed out anymore, so just turn that off. Turn off, I don't know why it keeps coming back on. Why does it keep coming back on? Oh, Leo's licking his pee pee, Leo. Come on, buddy. <laughs> now he's licking his back where I just petted him. All right, there we go. It also causes issues with installing Sims 3 packs in the launcher wait really i've never experienced that the only issue i've ever experienced is a spinny issue the spinny issue when you're in the game <clears throat> pretty sure twitch doesn't like that yeah i wish he'd like snuggle with me but like on my lap that'd be so cute but he, he doesn't he likes my bed i also have my heated blanket on so that's probably why he's on it all right we're back in the sims 3 everyone are we excited we should have no spinny issue, no no spinny glitch. My toddler was bald. I don't know why. I kind of I kind of just like left whatever he had on him. So that's that's what I'm rolling with right now. I'm just rolling with whatever he had. Yeah, most toddlers are bald IRL, aren't they? Fran, thank you. Fekla Fran just subscribed. It's caving Sam Sekimoto, it is. If my game only freezes and my Sims won't move, but the trees move, does that mean my computer needs more space? It sounds like a your game is running out of memory issue, which I'd recommend using Regal Save Cleaner. When my program files EA app deleted a file called IGO64.dll and my overlay doesn't enable again. But probs will return if- yeah, I think it will return if the EA app updates. Watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> no one told me how dark it was. I hate when some toddlers have Ariana Grande ponytails and stuff. Yeah, I hate long- I hate like super long hair on the- on the toddlers. It's like, why? Why do you have super long hair? We can give them a little makeover. Let's see, is the spinny issue fixed? Yes, it is. Look. It's fixed. Although the game is like freezing and stuff now for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. Perfect. She is fixed. All right, so let's give him a little makeover, shall we? Since someone said, why is he bald? We'll change him, we'll change him up a little bit, but anyway, we're back here in The Sims 3. If you have never watched me play this before, this is the Sims 3 Store Worlds Challenge. Let me attach the rules in chat. I'm gonna pin them. Challenge rules, just so I have them, so I can reference them. And essentially, if you wanna take a little glimpse, what this challenge is, is that every legacy is a new store world. This challenge was made by the lovely Florida here on chat, or here on chat, here on YouTube and Twitch. Um, actually, I think she just uses YouTube now. I don't think she uses Twitch, but could be wrong about that. Anyway, Florida made this challenge. So first we play in Riverview, then Barnacle Bay, Lunar, uh, Hidden Springs, Lunar Lakes, so on and so forth. We just gave birth in the last stream. I mean, we didn't give birth. Sage gave birth to the heir to the next generation, which is going to be our Barnacle Bay generation. And this baby has to like master fishing skill and be a lifeguard or the angler career. So it's kind of getting us to explore aspects of packs that I normally wouldn't explore. And we're currently playing Sage, who is our generation one in Riverview. You can check the playlist out I have on my channel. If you want to watch the previous streams but without further ado let's get into some gameplay so we have azure someone told me in the in the comments of the last stream how to say his name azure i think it's azure here's what azure looks like when he ages up he his dad is Don Lothario, by the way if you're wondering um he looks like a definite he definitely looks like a mix but i feel like he looks more like his mom maybe so that's what he'll look like someone said he looks cute bald so maybe i'll keep the bald I can't do the fishing career. No, I think I'm going to do the lifeguard career because that one seems more interesting. Hi, Nicole. Thank you. 
Barnacle Bay yet. Barnacle Bay is the next generation. We'll see how that goes. Hi, Amberger. Alright, what is Sage doing? Sage is gonna have her birthday in this stream. How is Sims 3 compatibility with ultra wide monitors? I would also be interested to find that out because I have no idea. I added some lots to this world. Should we look at them? I added some Sims 3 store because this is a Sims 3 store world challenge. I thought, let's just add some, let's just add some Sims 3 store. Uh, sorry, I'm turning down my volume. Some Sims 3 store lots and things like that. So I added or is it? I added the Stones Throw Greenhouse, which is probably my favorite lot from the Sims 3 store. It's just so pretty. Like, look at this place. Take a look. Like, how... How gorge. How gorge is she? She is to die for. It has so many plants and crops and things we can harvest. We can have Sage come over here. I want to go there so bad, same. What kind of laptop would you recommend to run Sims 3 and Sims 3? Uh, I would always recommend a desktop, but if you can't get a desktop, then I know that Acer has some really good. I had an Acer laptop a while ago and it was really good. Like the specs on it were really great, but I would definitely do your research before you buy like a like a laptop. I have a Razer laptop now, but it was like exorbitantly expensive for what it is. Wish I was one of those sunflowers. <laughs> This, this is such a pretty lot though like just look at this place i love it i love the vibes i love how the styling of this is and i'm shocked that ea made something like this i'm absolutely shocked i'm aghast do we do youtube intro no now that my videos are automatically cross posted to youtube because i stream on twitch and youtube now i don't really do the youtube intro anymore i don't do it on youtube anymore i kind of just go right into it and i just put timestamps on the youtube video Okay, so uh, this is the second law I added. This is the business as usual bistro, but I have a mod from a modder called Annie, which you may recognize Annie because they made the great Sim Drinks mod, which is like how your Sims can get drunk. <laughs> but Annie has another mod called the business as unusual bistro that makes the Sims 3 set, the Sims 3 store item make sense and it actually allows you to do shifts for your bistro so if i come over here if i turn off my reshade there so i can actually see what's going on i can click on the stove from this item and click enable shifts and then i have to go over and i have to assign shifts for different sims so it's very detailed it's great it reminds me a lot of sims 2 open for business and that's kind of the two lots i added we're over the stage. She's teaching her son how to walk. I have a mod that makes this interaction autonomous. So you'll see Sims like around the world, like with hydration. You'll see Sims around the world autonomously teaching their kids how to walk or their toddlers how to walk, and it's so cute. It's on my Sims 3 mod master list if you're interested. What a good mom raising her son by herself. Dawn, Dawn, Lothario, nowhere to be seen. Do I know Matilda Goth from Lunar Lakes? Why have I heard of Matilda Goth before? I probably heard of her in like a Sims lore video or something. Oh, right. Okay. So in the last stream, we were having some drama because Sage gave birth to Azure, who is Dawn Lothario's son. Dawn already has three children in this town, which is absolutely crazy. But Sage was kind of getting ignored by Dawn. Like Dawn wasn't wanting much to do with his son. And Trigger Broke, who is a pre-made here in this town, was like stepping up to the plate and being a great partner for Sage. So I would love that for them to be endgame because Trigger treats Sage like a princess, like how she should be treated. And Dawn just like ignores her and used her for a hookup and got her pregnant and then like dipped basically. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I am on a Dawn hate brigade. I just am a Dawn hater at this. He, she's in fact, Sage is too apparently cause she's ranting about evil now. <laughs> she's 
does not like evil sims it looks like she's like lecturing to her son <laughs> i can see she's ranting about the backstabbing um thought bubble which is uh correlated to cheating we're getting a call from dallas oh right dallas shallow ironically dallas shallow is an evil sim and sage was just ranting about evil so I don't, I don't know. I mean, Dallas has been hitting her lineup a lot. Dawn's consist on being a deadbeat, on being deadbeat Bo and Daddy. True. Making sure her kids not to respect women for real. Yeah. You could say that Sage was triggered. Yeah, she was triggered. <laughs> I think she woohooed with Trigger in the last stream. So you could say that she got triggered then. <laughs> Dallas trying to be Dawn number two. He seems to have like a fond interest in Sage, which is really interesting. What is this? Bob Newby was unsuccessful last day, attempting to identify his assailant after a bold mugging left him short. Some 586 simoleons. Everyone knows that it was trigger broken under the police. We don't, we just don't have any evidence. Not, not the poorest family in town being targeted for crimes. That is, so, that is so, they're being like profiled, like just cause they're poor. They're, the cops are assuming it's automatically the broke family, specifically Trigger. Like don't do my men like that. My man Trigger would never, he would never. <laughs> I'm gonna put the baby in this room. <clears throat> Sage needs some girlfriends to hang out with, yeah. She does. She has all male friends. Like we need, we need some girlfriends. Oh, Don's calling. Don's calling. He wants to chat. Sure. Probably checking in on his son for once. This town is really awesome, right? Uh, sure, I guess. Oh, oh, she's nauseous. I don't remember getting her pregnant, but I guess she's going to be having baby number two. Let's go. All right. Prediction time. <laughs> Prediction time chats. We'll say just birthday, birthday. <laughs> we'll say just baby be a boy or a girl. Go to your, go to your vote. Yeah, backup air. Now she's ranting about work. Like, girl, you work as a gardener. Come on. Come on. All girl quads. <laughs> we do need a backup air. Yeah, she's pregnant with Trigger's baby this time because she woohooed with Trigger last stream. Yeah, I forgot that she woohooed with him and got pregnant. My mind uh, must have blanked. All right, we're gonna have her go take a little nap on the couch. I love the vibes of her house. It's just so cute. It's like, obviously the furniture is mismatched and stuff like that, but something about it is just cozy to me. And oh, she just popped. She just popped on the, on the, down on the couch. That was crazy. All right, let's see. We're getting a text from Laurel, Laurel Grisby. Oh, right, Laurel was her only female friend. Oh, she's vomiting. I appreciate that she vomits outside instead of vomiting in the toilet. She's just, yep, yeah, vomiting. Okay, cool. I really want to send her over to the new lot that I put down, but let me see, I'm gonna hold. The couch's edges are way too sharp. Wait, which edges? You mean these edges right here? It does. Oh, you mean this one, the one, the, the seating part. It, it does look a little bit sharp, but I can overlook that because I really like the pattern. It's like a grandma couch and I really like that. That's cute. All right, so we're going to wake our baby up from his nap. And we're gonna head on over to the Stone Soul Greenhouse, my favorite lot. I absolutely love this lot. I showed it off earlier, but we're gonna do a little bit of gardening. Oh, look, she put the baby in the stroller. Dude, I can't, I can't, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Why does his crotch look like that? Did he go in his diaper? Did he go in his diaper when I wasn't looking? Looks a little dark. <laughs> his crotch looks a little dark. All right, let's print, let's print screen. Let's do a little print screen moment so I can get a cute screenshot. Why did my sound just like lag there for a second? That was weird. Someone's trash can got kicked over. Oh, Susie broke is like perma stuck. 
Uh oh, wow, she looks really excited to be perma stuck. <laughs> She's like stuck in place. Okay, Susie, looks like you need a little reset, doesn't it? You need a little reset, don't you? She's having so much fun. Look at this taxi driver with the with the swim cap on. <laughs> she said any minute now. <laughs> She's like somebody else. <laughs> All right, we're here. Now this lot had a really interesting tie-in. So back in the day, EA used to develop this game called Plants versus Zombies. This, I don't know if they, do they still make this game? I don't think they do. But this game was everywhere. This game came pre-installed on your computer. That's how I remember it. Um, but you'll notice these little sunshine guys because EA was the publisher of this game, you can see them that they did a tie-in with The Sims 3. So you, we have these little, we have these little guys in our game now, which I think it's a little bit out of place, but these, these little star shards, I think you can pick them up and I think they make your crops grow faster if I am correct. I don't know the, what they exactly do. I had this game my ideas. I had um, I, I remember it being pre-installed on the PC and it would only let you play up, up until a certain level until it until it wouldn't let you play any further because it was like a free trial or whatever. Alright, baby's crying. Just crawl around. Can you play with the no I, I wonder if you can play with no you can't play with that. Save? Okay, we'll save. I played it so much on my Xbox 360. It gets really hard. As most of these games do, these kind of games, the Plants vs. Zombies type of game. I remember um, Diner Dash. Does anyone? I always talk about Diner Dash. I don't know how it always comes up. It always comes up when I'm streaming. Diner Dash was another banger of a game. Oh my god, I love. I like this game more than I liked Plants vs. Zombies. Like this game, you had to serve customers, and they would get like super impatient, and you had to serve them before they rage quit and like left your restaurant like you can see these people down here getting angry this i like this game i have more fond memories about this game than plants vs zombies oh such a banger it might have been a flash game because i i high key oh not skip broke trying to flirt with sage that's crazy and yes the skip broke like the skip broke from the sims 2 is in this town Wedding dash. Izzy, you just evoked something out of my mind with saying wedding dash. What? That's it was like a spin-off of Diner Dash, right? Oh my gosh. Oh no. It's a totally different thing. Probably developed by the same people, but I remember this. Wedding Dash. It had to be a Flash game, I think, because Flash is dead. Like no browsers run on Flash anymore. So honestly, that's probably why this type of game died, but oh my God, I love these games. I love like the Diner Dash games, the Wedding Dash games. Why don't they make those kind of games anymore? Even like, oh, maybe, maybe that's my calling y'all. You know, I have been learning game design recently. Maybe my calling is to make a Diner Dash, Wedding Dash type of game for the phone. Like that would be such an easy game to code for the phone. You know what I mean? I don't know make a new diner dash i know and and i feel like it could be kind of i mean every game has to make money right but it would be easy i feel like to make money on that kind of game you know to get like sales from customers and stuff like that i don't know why do people not make it anymore <laughs> because people hate fun <laughs> enjoy true i have i think i've heard of the functional baby carrier mod maybe i should get that does it allow me to like carry around Azure? Will, will, will that be able to happen so he doesn't sit here and cry? Oh, she wants to ask trigger on a date. That's so cute. We can definitely do that. Right, okay. So pick your baby up, please. Let's go at home. I love the stroller, so cute. So I had our harvest a ton of these starlight shards. Let's go home and see what they do. We'll see what they can do for our garden. Oh, they want to wear it constantly? Interesting. 
Who's trigger again? Okay, so let's go over the lore, shall we? So in this town, there are a lot of callbacks to other Sims games. So this town is called Riverview, if you're not familiar. It came with the Sims 3 store, hence why it's in our Sims 3 store world challenge. And how you get this town legitly was if you registered your Sims 3 game on the Sims 3 website back in the day, I think even now, they give it to you for free. So if you have a Sims 3 code or if you have exchange, you can get it for free right now if you wanted to play it for yourself. But they had Don Lothario in this town. They they worked it into the lore that this is so weird. Nina and Dina Caliente made a time machine and forced Don to go back in time to Bar uh, to Riverview. Sorry, not Barnacle Bay. So, so odd, so weird. I don't know, it was, it was just an interesting little bit, little bit of lore, but here's our Don. He's obviously the father of our child, as I already covered. On Twitch today, I'm streaming on both. Did you guys not get the notification? <laughs> I'm streaming on both. So within Riverview, we have the Broke family, which you may recognize like Brandy Broke from The Sims 2. Her family or her husband, who's dead at the beginning of The Sims 2, Skip Broke, is also in this town as a child. Now, Skip has, I think he's like his cousin or his uncle who is Trigger Broke. So we're getting like deep into the intricacies of the Broke family right now. But Trigger Broke is related in some way to Skip Broke. So that's when you see the last name Broke, he is related in some capacity to Skip. So yeah. <clears throat> Dina and Nina are so girl boss and are my favorite premates ever. Send Don where he deserves in the past. If you don't know in the Sims 3, like in the Sims timeline, here's another little bit of lore. The Sims, all the Sims franchise games have a timeline that they follow. I always love to show this on stream because I feel like it's super fascinating. Someone on Reddit made this really nice canonical Sims timeline thingy. Let me show it over. Oh my God, I hate Windows 11. Like, look at, look at Windows. Like, why does it do this? Oh, now it's just now. Now she's just gone. <laughs> Windows 11, please stop. Stop popping it open like that. All right, here we go. Now you can see. So obviously the sims medieval is like the oldest game in the timeline obviously these have no correlation to when the game came out in our real real world this is all for lore's sake in the sims universe so sims medieval is like a medieval game so it takes place first and then the sims 3 is right after that which is super interesting because the sims 3 is obviously compared to the sims 4 it's like the newest game but it takes place directly after sims medieval in the timeline, then we have The Sims busting out for console, The Sims busting out for handheld, The Sims Herb, The Sims in the city, and then The Sims 2, which apparently takes place over a 25 year span. And then The Sims 1, like The Sims 1, relent to believe, takes place after The Sims 2 in The Sims official lore timeline trademark TM. And then you have The Sims. Wait, why is... Oh, The Sims 2 for handheld. Right, okay. Then The Sims, then The Sims console, then The Sims 2 console, and then The Sims 2, and then The Sims right into the future. And then The Sims 4, like, didn't follow any of this timeline, so it's, like, an, on an alternate timeline with The Sims 2. Super interesting. I don't like it. The Sims 4, like, wasn't worked into this timeline. Um, EA didn't care enough, I guess, to, but... Yeah, I always like to bring that up because I find it super fascinating. Okay, let's... Oh, Sage is pregnant! Officially! Woo! Yay! All right, she's, like, dead tired. So I'm gonna go and have her put Azure in the crib. And we're gonna have her go to sleep. I wonder where The Sims 5 will be in. Watch it be before The Sims and Evil. No, I don't think that can be possible. <laughs> the alternate timeline was a horrible idea. Alt. <clears throat> I feel like The Sims 4 is the Sims game they play on their computers. Ooh, that's really, that's a good uh, angle. I like that angle. That's like the Sims game inside the Sims game. Oh, flowers from Trigger, such a lovely gift. What? 
Where is this mod from? Is this in The Sims? Does this come with like generations or something? Or is this a mod? This flowers from Trigger, such a lovely gift. I've never seen this message. I played this game for over a thousand hours. I've never seen this message before. Someone in chat, please tell me. Is this a mod? And what mod is it? Like, no! Triggers in a relationship with Mary Kay Shallow. No! I'm about to turn into the Joker. No! <laughs> That's why he sent flowers. <laughs> oh, home wrecking time. No. I'm sick to my stomach. <laughs> uh, oh, she's burnt? I didn't even notice. I was too busy being focused on Trigger. On Trigger getting into a relationship. I just fell to my knees, same. Where is she? Do we know Mary Kay Shallow? I can't with... Every time I start a new stream, I have to show you guys Laurel Grisby. We have we have to take a look at Laurel Grisby. This is how EA made her. Like, moment of silence, please. I also sterilized her so her genetics will not be passed around my town because I I I draw the line at Laurel Grisby, okay? Everyone else can procreate, just not Laurel Grisby. Also, here is Mary Kay Shallow, and let me tell you. I approve. All right, if Trigger was going to date anybody in this town, I'm actually happy it's Mary Kay Shallow because look at my cutie. Like, ignore the fact that I gave her an outfit that I would literally wear. But I approve, Trigger. Like, what a cutie. Stunning. Stunning. I'm kind of still turning into the Joker because of that, but like not as much. You know what I mean? All right, let's have Sage go and shower. Oh, wait, let's let the baby out first, shall we? Katie did a hydration earlier and I like didn't do it. I'm sorry, Katie. Also, another hydration just now popped up. So let me do a double hydration, shall we? Thruple. I wish you could do thruples in Sims 3. I mean, there's a way I probably if I thought about it. But I think the jealousy system would prevent a real relationship from like actually performing. Bella finished my game packs legacy. Whoa, Bella, you have listened to more of my voice than probably my own mother has. <laughs> if you watch my entire Lepacy, holy golly, the people that finished my Lepacy, I mean, I applaud you for listening to my annoying voice for, did we ever figure out how long my Lepacy was? Someone calculated it in hours and I, th I think it was like 600 hours or something, which is crazy. It's crazy crazy to think about i don't i i'm just pulling that number out of the air I, I don't have like an actual i don't remember exactly what someone calculated but we did we calculated it and we found out it was a very big number you're on my showtime levacy whoa i feel shy <laughs> which i like more sims 2 or sims 3. it depends on like the family i'm playing at the time i haven't played sims 2 in a minute Ooh, Aaliyah says I'm on late night. I love playing late night. A lot of people didn't like my late night LP, but I loved it. I loved skipping from family to family. That was really fun. <gasps> the Lepacy is the best LP on YouTube. What a bold statement. I'm flattered. <laughs> There's a polyamory mod, but I think I have to say romantic interest for its work. Uh. I wish there was like a comprehensive sort of polyamory mod that would be that'd be sick where they like didn't hate each other if 
if the person did like a romantic interaction with their other partner. We need to call her pregnant. I don't even have 50 simoleons. That's bad. Okay, we're going to go in Tender Garden. How about we do that? <laughs> I just watched all of it and rewatched the university one because I had such a... Because I love that family. I had such a crush on Lee too. Lee was a cutie. I love me some Lee. The whole Lee and Sunshine debacle was juicy. Let me tell you. <laughs> you're watching Into the Future. Oh, you're like caught up to present then as... You're like, you're like at the very end. I've been really thinking about... I, I really like... Oh, did she overdo her plant or something? They might be over... Can they be overwatered in The Sims 3? I don't know. Um... Wait, what is up with the whole town in Mary Kay Shallow? I mean, we saw her, like, she's stunning, but Dawn is now simping over Mary Kay Shallow. And Trigger is dating her. Oh, don't eat an apple. We don't want another boy. We're trying to get girls here. Can I ever eat a grape? Ever eat a grape instead of eating an apple? If she eats an apple, it's over. She's gonna get a boy. The UI is called Clean UI. You can just Google Clean UI SMS3 and it'll come up. Okay, eat a eat a grape. She's eating a whole a whole grape from a vine. My grandpa, when I was a kid, I have like a fond memory. My grandpa grew grapes on a vine. And I'd go out there and I would pluck them off the vine and eat them, and they were like super fresh. It was so good. Yes, watermelon does give you girls. I'm trying. I'm not, I'm trying not to influence it. I'm trying to let the game like decide because I don't want to influence the prediction poll over here. Yes, watermelon for girls, um, apples for boys, and if you listen to children's music, you can get multiples. Bro, what? <laughs> Walden wide ass, bro, what? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, kids TV works with that? I didn't know that. I thought it was just kids music. Oh my gosh, why does she keep killing all the plants? Oh, Mary Kay and Trigger broke. Having marital problems. Suplash just woke up. Oh my gosh, 5 p.m. your time. You're spending too much time playing Baldur's Gate, but same. Why, why are all my plants dying? <laughs> That's insane. I'm gonna have my sims have so many babies now. So you just got a letter from Trigger Broke in the mail. It says, your letter brightened my whole day. You are so important to me. Let's get together soon. Purr. Don't worry, Trigger. We did get together soon. Oh, Trigger sent her a letter in the mail. I love you so much, but I can't tell you in person. Then why are you dating that bitch Mary Kay, Trigger? Why are you dating her if you love me so much, sir? Excuse me, let's invite him over. Actually, he, she wants to go on a date. Let's just ask ask him out on a date. Um, Hold on. I'm gonna grab the baby because we have to bring our son with us, obviously. We're a single mother. What do I look like leaving my child at home with a babysitter that I don't even have 75 simoleons for? Who's the baby of this daddy? It's Trigger. Trigger is the baby of the one that's growing in her. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go. It's a little bit late, a little bit past the baby's bedtime, but that's okay. Uh, let's. <sighs> okay, I need to set up a shift. Here's what I'm going to do. Hold on. We're going to take a little brief sidebar here. Trigger is triggered. I'm also triggered. A trigger. Just reading the rules. I'm so tempted to try this, but I just started Legacy on my YouTube channel in a minute. It's not on my Twitch. Oh, I was I was saying earlier, I've been thinking about... Like, I, I kind of want to make a YouTube LP again, where it's just, like, solely on YouTube, and it's not, like, re-uploads of streams, because I miss the consistency of uploading three times a week and, like, keeping my channel active. And stuff like that because right now how it is it's just like literally just streams and stuff like that so i don't know 
been thinking about it. Anyway, what we're doing right now is we are making waiters and waitresses for our... I'm just grabbing a couple of sims that I have in my sim bin. We're making waiting, waiters and waitresses for the restaurant because if I don't put any there, then um there won't be anybody to work. So I'm just going to quickly go in here and make a cutie. Always got to make myself a cutie. I just remind me of Anne Hathaway. <laughs> I could try the Zodiac or Gemstone. I've heard good things about the Gemstone Legacy. Who is this medieval dressed lady? She's going to be one of our waitresses at the restaurant. She's just somebody I have my sim bin, so I just grabbed her. Okay. Is that Maggie Flynn? Why is why does everyone <laughs> say she looks like someone different? Someone says she looks like Maggie Flynn. Someone says she looks like Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Do I have waitress clothes? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a waitress outfit. Look at that. I don't know what pack that's from. Do I have anything else that's cute? Any other cute waitress outfits? Probably not. Just like clicking through all my CC just to see what I have. It's very satisfying, honestly. This kind of looks like a waitress outfit in like a super high tech thing. I don't know. Oh, this is the Tapanaki Grill chef's outfit. We'll need a chef too. Okay, okay. I'm trying not to spend like too much time, but here I am like going through all my CC and stuff. I guess I could use the pre maids in Riverview. Um, I just don't want to affect any of, like, their current jobs because everyone in town has jobs right now. And if I do the t uh, the business as usual bistro, the Sims can't already have jobs because it'll give me a notification saying, so-and-so Sim can't make it to work today. And it'll pop up every single time ad nauseum. It's so annoying. I'm just going to randomize her trades. All right, so there's our waitress. She'll be our waitress. I'm gonna make a, oh, not myself sim coming in with the with the messed up Bob with the Kate with the Kate plus eight Bob. Let's grab uh, what's another sim I can grab? Let's grab her. Oh God, I'm trying to get like Sims that I don't have to mess with like all their outfits. Oh, she's she's so cute. This is a sim from. Midnight Hollow that I really liked. I thought she was so cute. <laughs> the fuck has Bob. Yes. She's cute. We're gonna we're gonna put her as a waitress in this town. Let's see. Can I find a Do I have to really put her in the same uniform? Uh where is it? There it is. Goth mommy. Give her dark, dark clothing because she's goth. Just put that. I don't know why she has gloves on. We gotta, we gotta get her some non-slip shoes, of course. Restaurant, uh, giving out non-slip shoes. Let's get some socks. Actually, I'm going to take the socks off. Okay, so there's our second sim. And then we now we need a chef. <laughs> Listen, if she was my waitress, I wouldn't be able to function. Let's make a male chef. Oh god, why are his legs so skinny? Let's see. Let's get some- oh my god. He's tall. Holy! What is the height slider on this man? Basketball player for real. My lord. Should we just leave it there? Should we make him this tall? <laughs> Basketball player for real. <laughs> Hold on a sec. He might, he might be, oh god, his voice. Why is it so high? How is that his voice? How is how are you gonna be 6'8 and be that have that high pitch of a voice? <laughs> All right, let's randomize the face a little bit better. Um, 
It's good something I can work with, for the love of God. Please give me something I can work with. Alright, I can work with that face. What a, what, what would a chef have? Should give him like the sous chef hat? Put this one on him. <laughs> this is gonna be the outfit we see him walking around with in town, by the way. So I don't want to make it like absolutely crazy. I see him flirting with the goth waitress and giving her free meals. I love the lore. <laughs> the lore, I can't. Hot dog hat, that's a good idea. How about the hot dog outfit? All right, this is his outfit. Literally, work is life is the vibe I'm getting from him. Because he's wearing his work outfit. Oh, his feet are like, like vibrating. Do y'all see that? His feet are like vibrating. <laughs> he's so lanky. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, there is his head gets cut off when I zoom in because of the height slider. And his name is Jude Smalley. I don't think there's anything small about this man. Let's leave, let's leave it there. <laughs> there's his voice. And, oh, I have to pick an aspiration for him. Oh, he has the natural cook trait. Well, isn't that nice? Um, we'll make this waiters, wait, waitresses and cook. That's the name of the house. These three need their own spin-off at this point. <laughs> All right, let's put them. I want to put them in a house that's near the bistro so they don't have to take forever to get to work. Let's go here, the split. All right, I'm going to go free. Real estate on. Put them in there. And then I have to s mess with a setting here quickly so they don't get jobs. Because if they get jobs, then they won't go to the bistro when they're supposed to. So let me just quickly swap to them. I'm going to go to NROS, Master Controller. Actually, no, I'm going to go to... I need a lot of options. Let's go... Can I do it this way? NROS, Master Controller. No, I'm trying to do story progression. What am I saying? I think I need story progression. Story progression. Household options. There we go. Um, career allow. Oh, shoot. Career. Just turn all these off so they don't get jobs. Career disallow. Can I hit all? I don't want you guys getting jobs. Please no jobs. Anything that has job in the title. No. Household, allow move solo, cast or sort. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it as a household, so I don't have to do it like, I don't have to make a cast. Household move as family, false. What else? Stories are fine, skills are fine, romance is fine. I don't care if they get in romantic relationships. Um, career disallow. Should I disallow every career possible? Just to make sure they don't get jobs because somehow some way story progression always if i disallow them to getting jobs somehow some way story progression like weasels them into a random career like if i disallow everything but retired career for example the the game will give them the retired career the game wants every single sim to have a job career allow progression false okay so this way they won't be able to move and they won't be able to get jobs. Okay. So with that done, we're going to swap back over to Sage. We're going to swap back over to Sage. We're going to go to the business as unusual bistro. So this is a Sims 3 store lot, if you don't know. And there is an overhauled version of this that allows you to manually create shifts the restaurant hours allows you to make up your own menu, allows you to set up food markup. It's called Business as Unusual Bistro by Annie on um, Ross website. Okay, so let's create a shift. We're going to start the shift at... What time should they all head to work? 10 a.m. Oh, I just put 20. I, I clicked the wrong number. That's my bad. Create a shift. Let's do 10 a.m ending hours for the shift is this in military time though that's that's the question 
Should I put in 24 if I want like 12 a.m.? It's probably military time. So I'm going to do, let's say the restaurant closes at 22, which is 10 p.m. That's it. What is that? Like a 12 hour shift? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to choose the three sims that we just made. So, oh God, I don't know their names. Jude was one of them. Next one, we have Maggie Flynn. And the last one is Samantha Wynn. Hourly wage for the chef. Let's give him 15 simoleons an hour. And for the waitresses, let's give them... They make, they'll make tips, right guys? So let's be capitalistic and give them 10 simoleons an hour. <laughs> oh shoot, I gave that, I made them chefs instead of, oopsie. I made them chefs instead of making them um, waitresses. I can change that. Feminism, girl boss. Where is Maggie Flynn? There she is, okay. Check mark. We're gonna edit this. Okay, Jude is the only chef. Maggie and Samantha are the only waitresses. And there we go. So there is our there is our there's our work staff. Now you wanna make sure if you're using this mod for yourself, you wanna make sure that the people you employ in these careers do not get jobs because otherwise there will be nobody run the restaurant. We're going to enable our shifts and then now we need to create a menu, which is my favorite part. Oh my gosh. Mary Kay Shallow and Trigger just broke up. Love to see it. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? When it involves Trigger, I, I'm rooting for their demise, not Trigger's demise, but their relationship's demise. All right. So what should our menu be? I'm thinking like American style food. So let's do spaghetti. Spaghetti with veggie sauce. What's another American signature? Hamburgers? Grilled cheese. Oh, that is an American signature if I've ever seen one. Hot wings? Oh, hot dogs and hamburgers. Very American. Dinner rolls? Mmm. Ch chocolate chip cookies. Definitely American. Our autumn salad. <laughs> Some might say that's not American. <laughs> Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Do we have apple pie in here? We do have apple pie. Oh, that's very American. Uh, banana or cream pie? Oh, banana cream pie. Okay. That's pretty American. Eggs Machiavellian. Mm. French toast is American. Is cheesesteak American? Mac and cheese is very American. Onion rings. Let's go. Pancakes, peanut butter and jelly. Who's buy who's going to a restaurant and buying a peanut butter and jelly? Come on, come on. Let's see what else we got. What else should we make on our menu? Tofu dogs. We'll put those on there. French toast is a very American. No, I think French toast is American. Didn't it like start in America? Just like how French fries started in America, but. They're called french fries, you know what I mean? Is there, by the way, is there french fries? Let's see if we can find any french Oh, nachos, that's pretty American, right? Even though it's Mexican. Mexican-American. Um, let's put goopy carbonara on there. Fish and chips, definitely not American. Eh. <laughs> Very un-American. <laughs> A Roman Empire recipe called Pan dolcis is believed to be so French toast isn't even French, it's Roman. <clears throat> All right, there's our menu. So there we go. Let's enable our shift, and then they'll arrive tomorrow, I guess, at 10 a.m. So there's our little restaurant all set up. That's how you, if you're wondering, that's how you set up the business as unusual bistro by Annie. Um, which is a mod for the business as usual bistro from the sims Three store the doritos ad is tempting me for a late night craving hello philip i think it's a common americanized recipe very uh but cooking bread with eggs and stuff is very common that is that is true 
French toast has very, like, all, the components of French toast are very, uh, general. Eggs and butter and stuff. Oh, Samantha Nguyen, or Samantha Wynn. That's how you said that last name, right? Wynn. She couldn't be found. I think I need to copy over... Oh, I want to check out their house, by the way. Why does their house look like a modern art museum? Let's see. I'm going to copy over their outfits to their career. Uh, the, the outfits I gave them. Let's see. Let's go. How do I do it? I forgot how I do it. I think it's under yeah, copy clothing between categories. Let's copy Maggie's everyday clothing and paste it onto her career outfit. I don't know, you, you can do that with Enros, which is really cool. Let's see if that worked. Where you go, Maggie? I think it doubles the outfit. So she'll have two career wears now, I'm pretty sure. Perhaps. Look at his feet bugging out. You're from Australia? Good eye, mate. Do people actually say that in Australia? That's what I want to know. I feel like it's a very, uh, maybe it's a, it's a, what's it called? Stereotype. All right, so there's all of our outfits. They should have all their career outfits set up now. See, look at this would have been her career outfit. She would have been a nurse wearing nurse attire. Let's take that away from her. So now she'll have her, she'll have her, uh, her, I almost said nurse, her restaurant clothing. We only say good day, mate, jokingly. Good day, mate. Not really. My aunt who's very Australian must say, but I don't think it's out of being Aussie, but just as a joke. I love that it's actually said though. That's that's amazing. All right, everyone's got their career outfits. Let's swap back over to Sage, and then I guess tomorrow we can go on a date. Should we go on a date with Trigger? We have to break the news to Trigger that we're preg. He doesn't even know that we're preg yet. I feel like Sage likes being preg though because she. I mean, she doesn't seem to have any gripes <laughs> with it. And she's a good mom. She takes care of her kids. You've got to lock him in. I mean, he just broke up with Mary Kay. Although, Enros hasn't updated yet. Why is she unroutable? I'm so confused. Unroutable Sim, Samantha Wynn. What is Vegemite? I heard Vegemite's disgusting. I heard Vegemite's disgusting. Oh, they're not a. Go to the potty. Nice. It's yeast e extract. Oh, speaking of yeast. <laughs> that could go very many ways. Um, anyway, I'm having we're having like a Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. We're making like a giant roast, but I'm vegetarian, so I have to get like a special roast. I got to drive 30 minutes away to the Target in the town over because the my my local Target doesn't have the vegetarian turkey. So uh I'm driving 30 minutes just to get a vegetarian dish. Amazing. Hi, Sativa, Peach. Tofurky. It's not Tofurky. It's uh, it's similar. It's definitely similar, but it's not exactly Tofurky. Oh, everything at the bakery is 25% off. That's so cute. My Aussie aunt used to tell me that nobody in Australia like pickles. So when they get fast food at places and it has pickles, they'll throw the pickle on the seal. What? Speaking of turkey, is your kind of looks like raw chicken in his pink outfit? <laughs> yeah, but we're having for our unofficial Thanksgiving dinner, our unofficial Sunday roast. My family is having, my sister's coming over with her boyfriend and we're having they're having turkey and mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce and gravy so it's like a thanksgiving unofficial thanksgiving like thanksgiving in march type 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 deal i'm really excited i have to make a homemade oh my god samantha you're making me crazy girl why do you keep getting she's like stuck perma she's like perma stuck why 
Reset sim. There we go. Let's try that. But yeah, I'm, I'm so... I love a mashed potato, y'all. I'm obsessed with mashed potato. Your cat joined you on your bed? Look at mine. He's here too. Loves his head rub. Look at my baby. Samantha's on a job protest. <laughs> Why is he crying? Oh, look, we finally got the message that Trigger and Mary Kay broke up with each other. Oh, damn, they broke up at the Sensor Greenhouse lot. Watch her be preg. No, she's not preg, thank God. She was made for this. <laughs> I love a fat orange beast, same. Is it really an orange cat if it's not like Garfield size big? You know what I mean? It must be something in like the DNA of an orange cat, but um, they're always like fat. I don't know what it is. Must be their metabolism is not great. Cause I have a gray cat too, who eats the same as this one back here. And he's like really like thin and lean. He's I think he's I think he's got Russian blue, which is a breed of cat, and they're like known for being really slinky and like slender. I don't know. <laughs> it's like you know how some people say they eat like one thing of I don't know, like one thing of junk food and it goes like all to their waist or something? That's like Orange, orange cat motto, I guess. <laughs> My mom's orange cat isn't fat, but his brother does hoard the food. Little bro is getting big though. <laughs> Sage is ranting about conformity, bro. Who are you ranting to? Your son? Why are you doing this? All right, we're gonna take him with us today. We literally, we literally cannot afford a babysitter. Like he has to come everywhere with us. Uh, we're gonna start off the day by going to land grab, sell and swap because I need to consign our crops. I gotta go and sell them. So we're gonna go over there. I have a calico and Maine Coon and a ragdoll. Maine Coon cats are huge. Is she pregnant by dawn again? Oh my gosh, we can't afford our taxi. 20 simoleons, I cannot afford it. Oh no. What did I, ha, huh? I caught that lousy trigger broke red-handed, breaking my XS4258P laptop from Landgrab Industries, grinned a betting newbie, apparently quite proud of himself. Yes, it takes, all it takes is a little gumption and we could totally clean up this town. Why is everyone like hating on trigger everyone's accusing him of stealing and stuff <laughs> why are you doing this trigger all right where is the where is the consignment worker we're we just gonna chill here she's just gonna go read llama rights i guess triggers misunderstood i think so too Maybe Skip's framing him? Ooh, conspiracy. All right, here's the consignment. Oh, that's not the consignment. What is she wearing? Oh my God. This better be her athletic wear because unless she's, pre she might be preg. No, she's not preg, that's just her outfit. This is not Pleasant View. This is Riverview. Laurel Grisby's here. Hi, Laurel. Why is everyone using a parasol? What are we using a parasol for? I wish the parasol had purpose in The Sims 3, but it doesn't. It literally just is there for show. I don't know. <laughs> or Riverdale, as I said, stream by, the, by accident, yeah. All right, please, Maya Roach, please get behind the counter so I can go and sell my crops. Wait, the parasol works for vampires? Well, I guess they're not vampires, so still no purpose <laughs> all right we're gonna consign our grapes lettuce apples mandrake everything everything i have 
we're just gonna we're gonna consign should i consign the flowers that people have been sending us to <laughs> make some money off of it i mean we have like five of them all right so hopefully this will get us a lot of whoa this mushroom is worth 114 simoleons for just one mushroom okay we need to make we need to harvest more of those okay so there's that that's all set let's go our next stop today on our list of errands is to go over to the stone throw lot so let's go here they're anti-aging mushrooms oh is that who i think it is yes it is <gasps> it's trigger but i was i was more so focused on maximus trigger is here flirting with laurel grisby our ex-friend we were rooting for you we were all rooting for you no not them both on their phones like immediately after you gotta love the sims 3 oh my god i'm trying to get i'm trying to get the clip we were rooting for you we were all rooting for you do i have it? oh yeah i have it i have it y'all are you ready i'm sick i'm literally sick i'm sick to my stomach this is me right now i was rooting for you we were all rooting for you how dare you <laughs> that's me right now oh my god he dropped his phone. Oh, I didn't even see it. I was too busy looking for my Tyra clip. Oh, get it, Sage. Oh, it has the Plants vs. Zombies theme, too. To me. Oh, look at her breaking it down. Let's go. All right, grab your uh, sunflower. I don't know what the... What do these do? Can someone tell me? This is R Riverview. I almost said Riverdale. <laughs> Riverview. All right, let's uh, harvest all these. Make some more money. It's definitely Riverdale, true. Oh, Susie's here. Hi, Susie. I had to unfix you a minute ago. Oh, Dallas Shell is having a party. Should we go? Well, 1 p.m. All right, I'll be there. Wait, you can... Oh, you can sell them for a lot of money. Let me... Oh, 900 simoleons! crazy 900 simoleons for nine of them oh that was such a life hack m thank you for telling me that damn i don't know like what but what do they technically do like i want to know the what are they technically for all right we have to go to dallas's party now so let's grab our baby who's dead tired and where oh he is he home oh he's home okay perfect ten dollar shallows party he has a nice house he's got a nice house everyone why is everyone using parasols i'm so confused what is up with the parasols guys y'all aren't vampires are you In plants or zombies, you use them to buy new plant shooters. Oh. Oh, so are they just for money then? I wonder. I thought that there was like technic a technical gardening reason. I want you. I want you, baby. I was singing Dua Lipa in chat. Oh, you can use them for fertilizer. Okay. Okay. He has a nice house, doesn't he? I have everything but Into the Future installed. Mally, 10 gifted. Thank you. Malachi has gifted 10 subs to viewers. Malachi. She called you Malachi again, Mal. What are we going to do about that? All right, I'm going to leave my baby outside. Don't worry. It's okay. He'll, uh, he'll fall asleep in a second. We need to go use the bathroom, though. So we're at Dallas Shallow's party. Mally, thank you for the gift sub. Oh, he, you what? Has Dude. Has gifted a sub to Jinxie. Why did you gift it to Jinxie? <laughs> Jinxie is going to pop in stream now. 
for sure. <laughs> That's actually funny. What are you doing? Put him down. Go to the bathroom. She's gonna pee herself. And it's gonna be embarrassing because it's in front of Dallas Shallow. And <laughs> not the sub to Queso. Malachi has gifted a sub to Casio underscore. Casio? All right, the dog is like tearing up the chair now. <gasps> Be accused of cheating. Okay, well we technically did, but you did too. Dude, Dawn is like gonna chew us out. Hydration. Dawn is chewing us out, accusing us. I can't believe he's accusing us of cheating. Like, sir, are you serious? Are you serious? He's yelling at us. Come on. Oh, Dallas isn't here to break it up. Yeah, Don, go and take care of your child, Don. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Baby crying. Us getting chewed out by Don. I wish every house that had a baby. Is this his baby, by the way? Oh no, this is his sister's baby. This is. Oh. This is. Hold on a sec. In the last stream, Don had another baby, and it was with Mary Kay Shallow. Who did you just gift another sub to? Smilachi has gifted a sub to Thescatrio. <laughs> Stop him, Mal. Okay, anyway, Chiquita is the daughter of Dawn and Mary Kay. And so this is technically Azura's sister, half-sister. But what's so cute is Dallas is this baby's uncle, and he she was and he was teaching her how to walk. Like how cute. Okay, Donna's saying, I'm so disappointed right now, sir. I don't think it's... Dude, Don is like the king of cheating. I could, I should accuse him, him of cheating. Obviously, she's not on speaking terms with Don. Oh, now she's trying to flirt with him. What is this? <laughs> Don, she just accused him of cheating and now she's trying to flirt with him. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, he's sleeping outside. He's sleeping in a bed of flowers. How, how nice is that? I'm gonna bump up his bladder, because why not? Alright, let's stop. Let's stop talking to Dawn. Dawn should leave. Get out of here, Dawn. Oh, we sold so many of our crops. Let's go. Alright, let's talk to Dallas. Oh, we can ask him if we can spend the night. Should we do that? Hi, Penrose. All right, Dallas is letting us spend the night, which is great. Oh, he's flirting with us. Oh, she's. Oh my gosh, she just reciprocated. Smilachi has gifted a sub to Kai Senet. Stop it, Malachi. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Okay, now Maximus is announcing something to us. Um, is he engaged? Oh, tell about Laurel Grisby's other relationship. Yeah, uh, she was cheating on you with Trigger Broke, so that's kind of that's kind of heartbreaking. Oh, he doesn't believe us. He's yelling at us. He's like, I don't believe you, Sage. He says, you stink, dude. I'm telling you the truth. Laurel is a cheater. Laurel is a cheater. No, that is a part of... I think that's a part of Generations, if I am correct. Or Late Night, either one. With his flippers on, yeah. Does he have a pool? No. Why, so why are you in your swimsuit? You need to buy a personal... Oh, she just... He doesn't want to kiss them! Sage, you are out of pocket. She just cheated on the moment kissed him. I can't. I can't. I can't. This is just Sage and a bunch of men that are low-key crushing on her. Posture, thank you. Dude, Sage is messy. Can Trigger make me some dinner? Sage is hungry. Someone asked how long till the pregnancy? I have no idea. Malachi has gifted a sub to Pokemon. Pokemon? Um, I don't have I don't have Into the Future installed. 
everything but into the future all right let's have sage go and drink a what, what, what did i say white chocolate non-fat cappuccino with extra foam i would love guys i've been cutting back on starbucks because i have a car payment now baby and i have a car insurance i gotta pay so i've been trying to cut out oh god dallas is flirting with her dallas i love dallas like i know he's an evil sin but he's just so cute and look at he's a male nurse and i love me a male nurse oh he's a paramedic now he got he got promoted He's photosynthesizing the baby <laughs> or Maximus with his flippers on. Yeah, he's an evil nurse. So uh, take that as you will. I can make him naked. I will not click on that chat. Don't ask. Oh, yeah, I forgot he sent a burglar to our house. How can I forget about that? All right, Dallas is going to flirt with us. Dallas is going to flirt with us now. Look at his house. It's so nice in here some of the other cnas i work with <laughs> they're evil nurses i miss trigger same but you know i'm letting the game lead me so oh dallas is flirty mm. evil as in he'd unplug the life life support machine or yes that kind of evil Look at these two just flirting by themselves. He says with a ring. Oh, he's asking us to watch the stars. Wait, that's so cute. That's so cute. Not the dog watching us. Oh, God. Now she wants to tell Dawn to kiss another sim. Girl, please relax your hormones, okay? I know the pregnancy hormones are going crazy, but please just calm yourself. Oh, someone just broke the TV. Mary Kay! You're my enemy. You made me turn into the Joker, Mary Kay. She stole Trigger from us and then broke up with him like two seconds after. All right, we're watching the stars with Dallas. So Mary Kay is Dallas's sister, so she lives with him. That's why she's here. This dog is like watching us. This dog is like, cheater, cheater, cheater. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's actually cute. And the baby's coming out here, too. All right, let's see. Dallas says, with the ring on the finger, vows and true love aren't far behind. Oh, they just popped up. They just popped right up. Okay, now we're going to feed our son on the floor. That dog has human eyes. <laughs> oh, he's going to kiss us. Okay, okay, Dallas. He's going to give us a little schmooch. Oh, she reciprocated. Bad Sage, bad. Bad Sage. We could propose going steady with him, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the game lead me, okay? The game is gonna lead me. Whatever the game wants to do, I'm gonna let the game do. He's just flirting with us. He's not really doing anything. Or if she gets a want, I will uh I will have him go steady, but she doesn't have any wants right now. Is this the Dallas Redemption arc? Possibly. Mary Kay, why are you so obsessed with me? That's the question. Why is she so obsessed with me? All right, I'm going to have her go upstairs and go to sleep. He has the really nice beds, too. So that's fun. We, we'll get our sleep up super fast. Sage is going to get a reputation for being in the river. Oh, birth time. Birth time, birth time. Whoever asked when the baby's coming, right now. There's your answer, right now. Can we take, wait, I think we have to take our son with us because otherwise, I don't know what happens. What if I leave, if I leave him here? Oh, I can't take him with us. What if I teleport him over? Can I just leave him at somebody else's house? I have no idea. Um, Baby can't be left here alone. What if I, Um, I don't want to call a babysitter. I don't want to waste 75 simoleons for nothing. What if I just teleport both of us over? How about that? Home birth, home birth. No, I, ha I don't like the home birth. I mean, I guess we could do a we could do a home birth if I wanted to stay. No, I'm just gonna have it at the. It's faster to do it at the hospital, honestly. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. All right, teleported us over. Pretend that we drove the car or the car. I don't know. We took a, a taxi or something. 
<laughs> Please do a home birth so I feel seen. <laughs> oh, Trigger's here! Hi, Trigger. Should we save? I'm scared. I haven't saved in a minute. Let's save. Home birth, home birth, home birth. No, home birth. <laughs> I see you. You are loved. <laughs> we see you, Katie. We see you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're always leaving the baby outside. I wish I could take the baby in with us, but it's just not. That's just not happening, I guess. Pretend the baby's in there with us. All right, let's see. What do we get? I want a girl. Oh, another boy, man. Come on. <sighs> yeah, that's how I feel. All right, we need B names. So because this baby is... Because this baby is uh, Barnacle Bay, which is like kind of like the fishing generation. Give me like B. Give me B. Give me B. Um, ocean coded names, okay? Bass. B ocean coded names. I can Google some Benny. Nautical. Yeah, nautical names. Nautical, if you will. <laughs> nautical, if you will. <laughs> Barnacle. Guys, he cannot be named Barnacle, okay? We can't. Oh, Bob, as in SpongeBob. That could be interesting. Booster. What are these names, guys? Boat. <laughs> Boat, as in a baby name. All right, let's do B nautical names. I can ask Chat GPT too. Should I do that? Chat GPT. Give me, give me B nautical boy names. All right, let's ask ChatGPT. Okay, what? I asked ChatGPT to give me B nautical names. ChatGPT gives me everything but B names. What? Oh my God. Everything but B names. Reef? Reef? You're naming a child Reef? I said B names. <laughs> Barlow is kind of cute. Briny? Who is naming their baby Briny? Beacon? Oh, Beacon's kind of cute. I don't know. Bracken? Like from, like from, uh, what's that game? Lethal Company? The Bracken? Breaker? <laughs> Breaker. Imagine naming your baby Breaker. <laughs> Girl Bay. Just call it Bay. Buoy? Who oh, is naming their baby Buoy? I can't. Yeah, Beacon. Beacon, I kind of like. I got Brendan. Bailey. Buoyant. Bass. Breeze. Breeze is kind of cute. What do I kind of like breeze actually? Breakwater? That sounds that sounds inappropriate. Hey breakwater, come here, breakwater. <laughs> it's like two words into one name. It's so weird. Are we on Barnacle Bay? Yes. Breeze is kind of cute. Why am I putting so much thought? I think this I'm put I think I'm putting so much thought into it. It's because this is gonna this could potentially be a second air for us. I kind of like beacon. Beacon or breeze. All right. Um, flip a flip a coin. If it's tails, it'll be beacon. If it's heads, it'll be it'll be uh, breeze. So tails, beacon, heads, breeze. Flips. It's heads. So is that what did I say it was? <laughs> I said it was Breeze, right? Breeze. All right, Breeze. Breeze is clumsy and ambitious. Oh, he's blonde. How are you blonde? How are you blonde? Wait a sec. I gotta see. How is this baby blonde? Baby for Breeze, yes. <gasps> he's cute. Oh, he's cuter than his brother. He's cuter than his brother, and look at his hair! 
It's got like brown roots and blondes. <laughs> Katie says wrong. <laughs> That's definitely Trigger's baby. He looks like Trigger, I think. He's kind of got Sage's face. He's definitely a guy. Why are you guys hating so much? I think he's cute. He's cuter than his brother. He's way cuter than his brother. Okay, I'm gonna... Why is his mouth, like, got no teeth? I guess he is a newborn. We wanted a girl, honestly, yeah. The neck on him it's because he's so muscular because trigger is really muscular are you gonna grab the other baby trigger no okay i guess the baby just gets teleported home all right trigger's coming home with us does he hate us yet or no i know we we're flirting with dallas shallow but all right we got breeze cotton <sighs> oh the prediction right let me give you guys your points good thinking Good thinking, Suplash. Manage prediction, choose outcome, boy. There you guys go. Yay! Okay, where am I gonna put this child? Let me see. Guess I could move this here, grab another crib, and put the bed right there. I don't know if they can get in that bed, but we'll see. <laughs> While Trigger's here, why don't we start with baby number three? I can't believe he hasn't found out we're cheating yet. I'm gonna ask him to spend the night. You wanna sleep over? Oh god, we have a rumor about us. Let me just spell that rumor. Can I just spell it? Can you just spell the rumor if it's true? I think you can, right? Maybe, maybe he can't be our partner. It's gotta be like, oh, confess to cheating! Yeah, in what galaxy am I doing that? So Trigger is spending the night and she wants to like watch the stars and stuff with him. I know we're like dead tired. Oh, is he going to take care of us? Oh, we can't grab the baby. Is it because the room is too small? Sorry, Maddie, don't mean to be spam, but asking it. Oh, I didn't see your message. Sorry. Will you be changing your Sims to fit town aesthetics? Very curious how this legacy will go. I'm not going to change facial features because that's always something I like to keep up to random. Um, but the clothing of course yeah how are you cheating sage and trigger weren't official it, it counts even if they're uh romantic interests the trigger just leave very low oh god now i'm stuck with two babies by myself oh lord oh lord it's starting guys it is starting trigger has to go to work oh no I'm left home with two boys. I gotta stop growing apple trees so we stop getting boys. Oh god. Oh god. Toe begins. I'm late and now there's a whole new baby. Whose is it? It's Trigger Brokes. This toilet is still clogged. Oh my god. How's he gonna dawn ruin Sage's life or does he already do it by making a baby? I think he did it by making us a single mom. I had to uh make sense of it. <laughs> Bathroom is rancid, it is. You know, just a single mom who works two jobs, who always loves her kids and never stops. That's that's the vibe. Her repair person's here in her equestrian helmet. Eat a cake slice. Girl, why are you walking outside? Eat your cake slice. Where are you going? Who is this? Walking through my backyard. Just a single boy mom with her bathroom green. 30 different airborne diseases. True. <laughs> oh god, I gotta go to the bathroom. Get out. Get out of there, please. Okay, time to take care of our plants, even though they're like all dying. I don't know why, like all of them are dying. I take care of them every day. How much more does this game want from me? What is my favorite Sims Sweet Town? Changes depending on my mood, but probably if I had to say generally, probably Bridgeport. 
Oh, we should go to the bistro. I want to show that off. I made that whole family and then I never showed it off. Oh, Trigger got a job promotion. Skip broke out a baby with Tatiana Ivanov. Ooh. Love to see it. All right, we need like a, we need to get married soon because I need someone to help me take care of these children. I guess I could like hire a babysitter. I think it's getting to the point where I will be hiring a babysitter for the first time. I don't think we've hired a babysitter yet. Oh, we sold more crops. Nice. I don't know the lore behind the Ivanov family. Wouldn't that baby be Breeze's cousin? Yes. You are correct. Okay, let's go to... Uh, I'm gonna like, consign our crops if I can. Looks like Dolotario's there. I don't know why. He's always where I am. Let me go and... Why are you... What is happening over here? I'm gonna go and sell everything if I can. Please let me sell. I need to sell before... No! The store's closed. It closed at 6, damn it. All right, well, before we head back home, I'm gonna go, we should go on a date with Trigger tonight because she wants to go on a date with him. I know you hate Into the Future, but we'll use some aspects of it in Lunar Lakes. Um, I can, yeah, I never thought about it. I haven't thought about much far into the future of this LP yet. Is Trigger dating anybody? No, he's not. I need to get married soon because I need to help I need help with these kids. <laughs> That's just the vibe. All right, we're gonna harvest. She's like constantly tired. She really is a mom. Oh, he's here. Okay, perfect. He's here with his brother, his little brother. Cool. All right, let's go and ask Trigger out on a date. All right, we're on a date with Trigger now. Have hands held. So cute. I have to go home and quickly look at the babies because otherwise the babysitter like won't do anything. She'll be like in a stasis. All right, she's taking care of the baby. Take care of my other one. Look at him flirting with us just constantly. Why can't I harvest any crops? I guess it's because my energy is probably too low. Um... I'm trying to get a deeper conversations prompt to possibly potentially have them get steady. Here we go. Let's see if they go steady here. Do we go steady? Do we go steady, Tricker? No. Oh, God. That is loud. Hey, get down. Hey, hey, hey. Look at him breaking it down. Love the music. Banger! Pretty sure that's plans for the zombies music. Oh, so I hear a bird somewhere. Where's the little birdie? Where's the little birdie? Here he is. Wait, no, he's not. Where is this? Oh, here he is. Oh my gosh, look at this little bird. It's a, it's a nuff hatch. Or not hatch. <laughs> I really read it as not hatch. <laughs> oh, I'm just so bright. <laughs> I'm gonna sell these now. Look at that. Thousand simoleons for ten of them. Yes, please. And air traps. Okay, let's see if let's go home with Trigger so we can help take care of his kids. Alright, we're going here with date. Let's go back home. Um, we're gonna go home. We're gonna maybe go steady with Trigger. I really want them to go steady. Thank you for the hydration. Mm. My lid just like flew on my lap. All right, welcome home, Trigger. Can't escape your kids for long. Let's ask them to watch the stars, shall we? I think, oh, Sage was supposed to age up tonight. Shoot, I hope she doesn't age up at midnight. Save, all right, we'll save. Save. 
That's doing the hydration checks makes you drink water too. Yes, stay hydrated. I should do a bistro day. I keep forgetting. Like she never has any energy to go out. I really want to use the 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 this is us unusual bistro. All right, here we are with Trigger. So cute. She wants to slow dance with him. We just got child support too. Look at Sugar being a good guy. He says, I love all my children. I only wish I could give more, you know, but a hundred simoleons should keep them in clothes and food for a while. Lamented Sugar broke after dropping off a child support check. They are family after all. <gasps> He's so ideal. Okay, let's see what he says. I don't care what anyone else thinks. You're hot. <gasps> He's proposing to us. Proposal going steady at least, not a marriage. It's not a marriage proposal. It's just a, it's just a boyfriend, girlfriend proposal. Yay. Now he says two words, us together. Please get back with your response. Oh, now they're going to the bed. Now they're going to the bed, everyone. Oh, Sage. She wants to send a love letter to Dallas. You're so messy. She's so messy. All right, woohoo time. And it's a try for baby. Oh my God, it's try for baby. Come on. Why is that to be a try for baby? why why do you do this to me game oh my god look at she wants to send a love letter and go on a date with dallas so messy dude i think azura is aging up soon right sure oh he is today was supposed to be his birthday oh she's passing out on the floor She's passing on the floor. Yep. Okay, that's great. Go put your other kid in the crib for the love of God, please. She loves the toxicity. Why can't you? What is going on? Why, why can't this crib be used? I'm so confused. Put Azure there. There we go. All right, go sleep. Oh, Dallas was dating one of the waitresses. <laughs> That's funny. We should we should keep up with the, the waitresses and what the waitresses are doing. I'll say it again. I'm just too scared. You love having your founders have so many kids, Roxy. No, she is doing this by herself. I did not have her. I haven't had her try and woohoo a single time. This is all autonomous. This kills my heart. My mom here my mom hears cries. Or your mom your my your mom heart. Your mom heart cries. It's giving ACR. No, you're you're not wrong. Oh, he's taking care of his kids. Oh no, he's not <laughs> Dude. I thought he was gonna take care of his kids, but instead he texts over his son. Dude, he baited me thinking he was gonna take care of his kids. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> of course. Why why would he take care of his kids? Of course. These men are terrible fathers. Like, take care of your son. He took a pic of his newborn and sent it to his mom like he's a good dad. Dude, stop grabbing your ears and take care of your kid. Oh my god, he's not doing- he won't do it. He keeps texting! Both of these kids are like in the red and he won't do anything! Oh my god, he doesn't know who he wants to take care of. Keeps turning around. Oh my god. Oh, someone just got teleported. Trigger, please. Please. Please take care of your kids. Please. The reality of being a father just hit him. <laughs> it does look like they're stuck. Maybe I should remove this bed. Oh my god. Trigger, please stop. Get out of the way. Get off your phone. I'm trying to take care of them because you're not. My lord. Bro, <laughs> it's like Bonilda. No, literally. Alright, there we go. There we go. Much better. Nope, the other kid is still crying. My lord. 
You're fine. His moon is in the green. Everything is green. You're fine. Oh my lord. Okay. So Sage wants to go on a date with Dallas, who's not this guy, although they do look very similar. So Dallas is the evil nurse guy. So we're going to dispel rumors to him because why not? And then we're going to ask him to leave. Okay, let's ask him to leave. I know we're dating. I'm playing wand space. So whatever Sage wants to do is what I'm going to do, guys. I know she's cheating. I know she's a cheater, but I'm playing wand spaced. Um, let's put the book away. She has so many books in her inventory. And we're gonna send a love letter to Dallas against my better judgment, even though I don't want even though I want Trigger and her to be end goals, but looks like she has other plans, I suppose. We're gonna Oh, it's actually her birthday tonight, and it's Azure's birthday tonight. She's so she is messy. So we could celebrate. Oh, it's Saturday. I didn't realize it's Saturday. Oh, we have a gnome, a gnome friend. What is his name? Bucktooth Butternut. Okay, Sims 3 team. I don't know what you're trying to do. We're going to fertilize all of our garden. She's got to be close to level 10, right? Oh, she is so close. Her bar is so close. So close. We are going to do it. You know, Mary Kay is somewhere plotting. No, we would, if we got married to Dallas, we would be sister in laws with Mary Kay. <gasps> Wouldn't that be crazy? I can't imagine, like, oh, Dawn is apparently not interested in fixing this relationship, so they're no longer romantic. I was never romantic with you. Look, he's never, he's not even in here. He hates us. He hates our guts. I don't know why this game thinks that they were romantic. Oh my God. Now we have to wait for Dawn to get his butt over here and reject us. Quote unquote, reject us. Yeah, reject me, even though I don't want you in the first place, Dawn. Leave. Leave me alone, sir. I feel like Dawn has high key, like, ruined our. Because Sage was fine at, until Dawn. Like, in fact, she. In her first couple days of being here, like, she was not interested in anybody. But once she got with Dawn, something in her, like, ruined something got ruined like her heart just shattered and now she's living the the whole life and she does not know who she wants <laughs> don having a revelation about his feelings for her and just walking up to her her place to break up is killing me oh my god she got level 10 let's go so there's one of our goals completed look at that completed one of our challenge this generation's challenges. Yay! I'm just gonna sell level all of our crops for money. Potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna consign them. And then for her little birthday dinner, we're gonna have her ask out Dallas on a date because that's what she wants to do. Look, it's working! Oh my gosh, our waitresses and our cook is there at the restaurant. I don't know why I'm like surprised it's working because I know I know that's supposed to how it works but look he's cooking oh my gosh why are all why are all these lights off in here turn on all lights what's going on it's so dark I think upstairs we have the teppanaki grill yes we do look at that we can serve food on him too I wish you could assign like a chef to work on here but whatever all right let's go inside we're gonna against my better judgment go on a date with dallas even though i don't want that to, why are you where are you what where are, didn't i tell her to go to the bistro where are you going what i thought i told her to go over here i swear i did all right let me make sure my babysitter is taking care of my kids back at home this poor teenager has to deal with two crying babies i'm gonna move this crib can i do that let's do that Oh, I just realized this wall is not colored. <laughs> Oops. We had like siding from the house there the whole time. <laughs> How long has that been like that? She has a relationship with her bike. Love to see it. Um, all right, let's ask Dallas out on a date. We're going to ask him on a date to the bistro. 
with the little bit of energy she has. I don't want, like, I don't want to have her cheat on Trigger because I really wanted them together, but if she wants to do it, then once once based play style tells me she's got to do it. Oh, oh, no, she's aging up. Oh, and Azure is aging up without us there. That's so sad. She's about to age up to an adult here any second. Well, at least she's having like her birthday dinner. You know what I mean? All right. Hi, Dallas. Let's ask him out on a date. Okay. He has a he got the loves the heat trait, but if he's going to be our heir, then that's not going to be his actual trait. All right. All right. We're on a date with Dallas. Let's go and place an order on our little romantic date. Place order. I got him. I think I gotta invite him to dine. Nope. Oh my god, he's gonna sit in the wrong spot. Sometimes I just can't. I can't stand this mod. He's not dining next to us. What is going on? Please sit down. Oh my god, Dallas. Please. There we go. Dallas Shallow. Please sit your butt down, sir. So cute. Look at this. When it actually works. Oh my god. Looking through their menus. Chicken or water. We have our goth waitress. Love to see it. <laughs> Harrison's able to do that. It is the business as usual bistro from the Sims 3 store. Dallas says, I've been moving all day and I'm totally obliterated. I don't, I don't know about being obliterated, sir. I don't know about being obliterated. Can I do deeper conversations when they're sitting in these chairs? I hope so. I hope it doesn't cancel out their... Oh god, she pops up, but I guess it still works. Ooh, she got onion rings. Good choice, Sage. Nice nice birthday choice. Oh, and she's aging up. Good timing. On her birthday dinner with another guy that's not her boyfriend. On her dinner date with a guy that is not her boyfriend. Don't be confused. She's glitching into the chair. Oh, that's Dallas' favorite food, just hot dogs. Yay! Woo! And she's an adult. Save. Alright, we'll save. Sage's birthday success? Why did I not save? Oh, Trigger aged up too. It was his birthday, I guess, as well. I know it was, uh... Azure's birthday back at home. We have to see what he looks like. Let's see if he's still bald. <laughs> did he did he still get the does he still have the bald hair? Or the I guess lack of hair. Trigger is an adult. Dallas says he's feeling really lonely. Um apparently we're gonna listen to him. Do you know how to change genetics? My Sim and Hank Goddard had a baby with it's like borderline green hair. So that is actually a that's a bug with The Sims 3. The like greenish hair is a bug. I think if you have the core fixes mod, it should fix that mutation. Um talk about renewable energy, girl really. This is kind of like a lame birthday dinner date. Dude, what is up with her always wanting to watch the stars with all these different guys? It's like her... It's like the pass, passageway into her bed is... <laughs> watching stars with her. Agreeing to watch the stars with Sage is, is the means to get into her bed. <laughs> Grow life plan? That's cute. She must be an astrology girly. <laughs> Stop. Oh, not Dallas. <laughs> We're on a date with Dallas and he buys flowers for the waitress. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my God. The mess. The mess. All right. It is literally midnight. Um, We need to. <gasps> now the chef is buying her flowers and she accepted them. <laughs> Oh no! 
Sage was found out to be cheating. Yo, what is going on? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. We're... Oh, no. Oh, no. Dallas is mad. We're going to be exposed to our boyfriend that we were cheating. Okay, we had a good day with Dallas, at least. All right, time to go home and take care of my kids. Oh, Azure. Okay, let's see what he looks like. Oh, God. He needs his own bed, doesn't he? I guess we're going to put this one in the family inventory because God knows we'll need it again. <laughs> Sage, get out of there. Uh, we're about to get broken up with. I have a feeling because when Trigger finds out that we were cheating on him, it's going to be so bad. She can get the clean slate lifetime reward. I guess we could. I'm kind of living for the mess though. I'm kind of living for like the, the mess of a li Oh God, she's passed out. Dude, is she gonna ever have a day where she's not like fully passing out? That would be great. I'm gonna get the bed from a showtime. If you know what I am talking about, this is like the best bed. If you look at it for the cost, it's only 560 simoleons. It gives seven energy, seven energy. Okay. For frame of reference, the bed that she just had gives four energy and it's like 200 simoleons less or hundred simoleons less. So this one is a steal. The Showtime bed, it is a steal. Okay. It is a steal. Always use this one when you're broke, when you're broke and you need energy fast. I also just like the aesthetic of the bed. Like, it's really cute. Oh, flashbang. The picture rotates so fast because of the smoothness patch. <laughs> I had to ban myself from using that bed because I use it all the time. Same. Oh, and now she wants to go on a date with Trigger. Girl, make up your mind. Oh, the kid's up. The kid is up. His younger brother is crying. I wish I could... I really wish I could have the kid take care of him. He's bald, so let's give him some hair, shall we? I did say that when he was older, we were gonna give him like a beard with like a shaved head. How, why does he have arm hair? I guess it's the, oh, it's the, it's the werewolf body hair. <laughs> I was like, you're like 10 years old. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my God, that was crazy. I, I will try to repair the relationship with Trigger, yes. I will. I will try. I'll try my best. See if, we'll see if we can do it. Um, if he if he wants to accept Sage back. I also have to change his last his trait, right? Because he's gonna be the I think he's gonna be the heir to the next generation. So we have to uh give him the trait that he's supposed to have. The kid kind of looks like he has gremlin posture. <laughs> what is gremlin posture? All right, so there's our son. <laughs> I need to wake Sage up because she's got to take care of her son. One of her sons. Get bottle. Change diaper, put him back in the crib, go back to sleep. You can go back to bed now, Azure. I, I'm sorry. You have to share room with your brother though. It's a must. It's a must. I do need, yeah, I know there's a mod to, for the children to take care of the toddlers. I just, I don't know why, but I just, when I forget, I forget when I go out of the game. Just to know how Dallas Shallow juggles all these relationships, commented Jude Smalley, who's our chef that we made. I mean, myself, I can't even keep one satisfied, much less that many. <laughs> I'm a little jealous is all. I love the feud between them fighting over Maggie, who's the waitress in the restaurant. I love it. I love it. I love those, that sort of progression. It adds like so much lore. It really does. That room they share is hella small. It is. It is very small. Oh, he wants to be a vocal legend. That's not happening. Oh, God. Him and that imaginary friend toy. You know what? I'm going to make this toy real so that he has someone to talk to because 
not like real real like this so we can actually communicate with it give him something to do you know all right we're gonna wake up mama sage and we're gonna have her take care of her garden uh, oh, Sage received an invite to Dallas Shell's party. Well, don't mind if I do. 6 p.m. I'll be there. He always is... He's always having parties and stuff. His house must be like the place to be. Right, we're getting a phone call from Trigger. Oh, no. Trigger broke wants to chat. He must be like, hey, I heard a rumor around town that you were on a date last night with Dallas. Um, what's up with that? Sage is like, haha, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. I did nothing of the sort. Deny, deny, deny. I'm trying to have her like stay away from Trigger because I know that she'll, that he'll probably try to end it if we run into him. So, all right, let's go over to the consignment store quickly. We got to sell our fruits and veggies. Let's call a babysitter, I guess. And then after that, we're actually going to be going to Dallas's party. Oh, this place is, oh no. Tr Why is Trigger always here? Why are you always here? Oh God, we're going to run into him. Oh no. Can I dispel the rumor to him? Calm him down. Let me... Oh, kiss and make up. Let's do that. Let's do that. Kiss and make up. Here we go. Let me kiss and make up. I'm sorry. I did nothing of the sort. I never cheated on you. Totally never cheated on you. Calm him down. Why can't I do the kiss and make up thing? Why isn't that letting me do it? Let me... Let me do the kiss and make up. Okay, I just like disappeared. All right, whatever. Dispel rumors. Let's do that. Dawn's here too? What is going on? Why is the consignment store always bumping? All right, Dallas's party is starting soon. Dispel those rumors. So let's sell all of our crops. Everything will be sold. I can make some money. It's actually really valuable to make money using the consignment store. Like you make so much. I right, consign. And then we're gonna go to Dallas's party, even though we just told our boyfriend that we weren't cheating on him, but here we are going over to the other guy's party to make sure that the babysitter is taking care of my son because these babysitters love to never do that. Thank you. I mean, it's just a party. What's the worst that can happen, True? It's just a party, you know, Dallas? We weren't... We're not going to do anything bad. The dog is always chewing up furniture, I swear. All right, Dallas is making us some dinner. We love a man that can cook. What is this? Mac and cheese? Oh, autumn salad. Okay, don't go home. Why are you trying to go home? You don't have anywhere to go. Your, your babies are taken care of. You're fine. You're good. You're surviving. It's time to be here with Dallas. I, I want to see what she autonomously does. Like, I'm going to try and let her just lead me through her evening. Maximus McDermott's here. Oh, gaze into eyes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Trigger's here! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh, what is going on? <gasps> Flirtatious joke. No, this is so messy. <laughs> and now she's flirting with Trigger in front of Dallas. Oh, and he's not having it. <gasps> he's not having it. He's insulting us. No. <laughs> Oh no. Now she's gonna woo with Dallas! Sage. I can't with you, girl. I can't. She isn't she even has a want to woo with him. Oh my god. Oh my god, Dawn's here! What is going on? Why is Dawn, Trigger, and Dallas here? I've never seen so many of her exes in one room. <gasps> Trigger is apparently not interested in this relationship, so he decided to break it off. They're no longer romantic. No! Oh, no! Oh, God. I 
can't. He's tired too. Oh no. Dallas set her up though. Like high key? Dallas really set her up. He invited Trigger and Dawn? He was doing on purpose. I have a conspiracy theory because he has that evil trait too. Okay, now she's going to go woohoo with him. <laughs> Dal yeah, Dallas does have the evil trait. You know what I mean? Like, I'm almost sure that he set her up. I am almost sure. Right, now she's going to go woohoo. <laughs> just broke up. We just got to get that woohoo in. This is our first woohoo with Dallas, I think. I think. Yeah, he planned this. He 100% planned this. Oh, is that my risky redeem? Oh, I forgot that someone redeemed it. I didn't even hear it. I mean, I heard it, but like I didn't. I didn't commit it to memory. Um, who redeemed the risky? Oh, sunshine, sunshine did. Okay, yeah, that can be your risky. <laughs> Please, her mood. I know she's so down bad. She now she wants to tell Trigger to kiss another Sim. Oh, is Mary Kay? Mary Kay is here. Let's let's have let's have. Wait, where is Trigger at? Let's have him go and kiss Mary Kay. Remember he was in a relationship with Mary Kay? Wait, did he leave? Is he gone? Did he leave? He must have left. Let's invite him back. Hey, maybe Trigger can get his happy ending with Mary Kay. You know what I mean? Like, that's possible. Where did Trigger go? Oh, he's gone. Okay, he's, he's not here. Is he coming back, though, is the question. Okay, he's coming back, I think. Right, you're gonna come over and you're gonna kiss Mary Kay, Trigger. I'm gonna... Because she wants to tell Trigger Brooke to kiss another sim. <laughs> this was insane. No, literally. Literally. Alright, get over here. We're going to call him over. Don't rant about work, girl. Why can't I not call him over anymore? Oh, he's coming inside. Now I, now I can't tell him to kiss another sim? Why can't I dare him to do this? He's at our party. Uh, Confess attraction for Dallas? That's so wrong. That's so wrong. Dude, word of around town has been that Sage was cheating. This is old news, game. This is old news. Talk about conformity. Sage does not conform, that's for sure. I can't. Oh, she wants to be she wants to be friends with Trigger. Okay. That's doable. You know, she wants to be on good terms for the sake of Breeze. Listen to compliment. Not him complimenting us. Are we gonna get out of a relationship and in a relationship within the same night? <laughs> like no way. No way. Shaka bra. That's romantic. Oh, Susie just dropped her phone back there. She said, he said, if I had to pick a superpower, I would be able to fly. Sure. I'm Mr. DJ Mixes. I kind of want to become friends with, with Trigger. If we can. Dallas does have the bigger house, so. She just got an autograph from her ex-boyfriend. It's amazing. Love to see it. I'm gonna cry on his shoulder. You know, he's a nice guy. Oh, he says witnessing a breakup is truly heart-wrenching. Hopefully the two Sims can reconcile and find new love elsewhere. Okay. He's totally... He's just adding us at that point. Like... <laughs> ironic coming from you, Trigger. Oh god, what is going on? Why are they hating each other? I know you guys just broke up, but let's be civil here, please. Gossip. He likes the gossip. He does like the- Oh! Have you heard that Dallas Shallow is completely broke? Look at this man's house! How are you gonna say he's broke? Does he have any simoleons to his name? He's got a debt of 3,000 simoleons? Okay, I guess he is broke. Dear God. I guess we can't become friends with Trigger because we're classified as his ex? Maybe that's- I'm gonna cancel that wish out because I just- I literally can't do it. Um, are we gonna spend the night at Dallas's house? Should we do that? I'm gonna do that. Oh my god! Not him 
reading his niece to bed. That's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, that was just so sweet. Wait a sec. I think he's dad material, y'all. Even though he has that evil trait. Even though he has that evil trait. I think he's dad material. Can't believe I'm saying it. He's flirty. He's a paramedic. He's rich. I mean, what more could we want? I'm gonna do a three hour stream today. We're already at two and a half hours, so might as well. Cool. I'm trying to get a cute photo of them, but okay, never mind. Never mind, I guess, game. He says, I love you. Just confess that he loves us. Oh, and I was gonna kiss us. Romantic. Oh, she just pushed him back? Why did you do that? Why did you push? I guess she's in a, she's probably in a bad mood. Let's just send her to bed. Oh, he's the gigolo. He's the town gigolo. Oh, he is the town gigolo. Oh, I want to like, I want a definition. Story progression. Lovers module. Let me tell you, I'll give you a definition of what a gigolo is. I know, I know it's like a male, um, I think it's like a magic mic type, type of situation. A man slut, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> I want to know how story progression defines it though. Let's see. How does story progression define a gigolo? Let's see. A muhu machine that offers their services to those who are willing to pay. Dude, story progression is so out of pocket for this. So Dallas is going to be woohooing around town for money. That means he can get like other Sims preg though. You know, that's crazy. Oh, chance of pregnancy defines the chance of the canoodle scenario inducing an unexpected pregnancy when set to negative one the chance defaults to the value of the pregnancy's chance expected option so that's okay interesting hmm all right well there is there's dal that's what dallas is a woohoo machine that offers his services to those that are willing to pay the woohoo machine yeah Dallas is the Selena Savage of Riverview. I haven't seen any scenarios where he's woohooed with other Sims. I don't know. Yeah, I always read like what the each role does. If you go under documentation on the mod, you can see. Oh, it's Breeze's birthday today, even though we haven't even done anything with him. It's his birthday, apparently. Happy birthday, Breeze. Can this baby look at this babysitter? This poor child is all in the red. They did risky woohoo, yes, they did. Every woohoo in my game is either a risky or a turn baby. There's no um, regular woohooing. Every woohoo introduces a chance of possible pregnancy. Joelle has to go to school soon. Yeah, she's been there for like over 24 hours at my house. That's amazing. Do you have the Enros Others module, the one with Magnate Geek? Yes, I do. I think I have like almost every module. I really like the modules. I think that they add a lot of character to the the game. Wow, look at this balcony he's got. He's got an espresso machine out here. This is where he gives Sage the bill. She gets it for free. <laughs> oh, it's the first day of summer. Woo! Oh, he's off to work. Off to his paramedic duties. All right, our son is at school. It's time to talk to his friends. Hey, Diegi. Haven't seen you in a minute. Have Sage get up and take a shower and stuff. Oh, she's heartbroken over Dallas. Look at that. She's heart. Oh, Sage is behaving inappropriately. Sorry, Mary Kay. Gotta use your shower real quick. I loved Lethal Company. Like, 
about a couple months ago, maybe two months ago, my two cousins and my boyfriend and I all played it together and it was so fun, but now no one wants to play it with me, so that's great. My boyfriend like did not like it. I'm like, dude, it is so fun. It like just, I love scary games. I really do. I don't like playing them because it freaks me out, but I like watching them. And I guess Lethal Company is kind of like my tolerance. Scary games. That's what I'm saying. Imagine not liking it. Like what? <clears throat> As someone said before, Lethal Company turns everyone into a voice actor. <laughs> we had the uh, Mimic mod, so it would like take our voice lines and copy them and like use them to and try to trick other people. Look at all these seeds she's getting. Yes, let's go. She found a special seed. I'm gonna pick up all of these sun sunlight thingies. I'm gonna harvest all these plants. I wonder if the babysitter left our child alone. Let's let's take a peek back at home and, and see. No, she's still here. <laughs> Joelle's like, guess I'm guess I'm not going to school today. <laughs> guess I'm uh, staying here to take care of your child. Let's go harvest all of these. Okay, stop crying over Dallas. I get your heartbroken girl, but there will be more trust. We'll be dealt with. I gotta check the this this generation's rules. Let's see how far we are. Okay. So we've mastered the gardening skill. Check. Complete the we haven't done that. We haven't completed the aspiration. I don't know if we completed the skill challenge. Probably not have one best friend we've had trigger was our first best friend but i guess maybe we need a more permanent best friend have at least three kids oh we're working on it we're working on it and let donald thario ruin our life kind of already have done that okay sure we'll be going to a field trip why is it so dark in here are there no lights or did ea just no oh, i guess there's no lights in here i should add some gotta go in I can add the buy debug ones for free. Buy debug on. Let's see. Where the circular? I want the big circular light. Give me the big one. I think the square one too, maybe. This show floor for benches. You can find some very odd stuff in Bidey Book. Okay, let's just use this one then. I can't find the other ones. There are tons of spawners on this lot. I guess I just forgot to add lights, question mark. I don't know. I mean, it is a greenhouse. So I guess there's not supposed to be any unnatural sort of lights. She's gonna make a quick drink now. We're gonna have you serve up some lunch. Oh, she can't because she needs links i'm gonna have her just eat raw raw food jordan thank you i appreciate it jordinko just subscribed howdy 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 ever eat some lettuce a whole head of lettuce get it girl get your whole head of lettuce i'm gonna go over here and harvest the rest of these we're actually making a killing off of this lot Oh god, not the sunflower music. Oh, there's a dog here! How cute! Look at his stupid face. He's so cute. Not Dallas and Maggie hitting it off. What are the gardener skill challenges? I think you can look in the journal here. Let's see. Let me see. Um, which one? Master Farmer is the one we have to do, right? Did I? Is that the one on the list? Yes, Master Farmer. So the Master Farmer has have harvested at least 650 fruits and vegetables. The plants of Master Farmers remain watered and fertilized longer, meaning their gardens are more efficient. That is crazy. 650. 
I guess. I mean, if we do, if we do the Grandpa's Grove route, we can use this tractor to harvest everything at once. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem, though. Yes, those are the Plants vs. Zombies flowers. Yeah. EA was the publisher of Plants vs. Zombies. So that's why they're in the game. Is she still at her house taking care of her kids? I love that. Just leaving our kids with babysitters for a long period of time. Mommy's got some things to do. This this poor teenager is probably in such a bad mood. She's in such a bad mood. <laughs> okay, take care of his diaper now. There we go. Dallas says, my one cardinal rule, always leave them wanting more. Oh my god. Loaded Dallas Shallow after escorting the fine Susie broke on a date recently. Susie was apparently quite pleased and offered 608 simoleons for services rendered. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Holy. Wow. That is a lot of money. I can't believe he's making that much for his services. A working man. Paramedic during the day, gigolo at night. Let's go. Okay, so Sage wants to get back with Trigger. She wants to go on a date with him and she wants to tell him to kiss another sim. I'm not gonna do that. I will try to weasel our way back and do his heart though. We can, we can at least try that. So, oh, it's Azure's birthday, right, okay. Sage really knows how to pick them. <laughs> I'm gonna save the game too, because my game's- Oh, I can't, because someone's having a birthday. Right, okay. <laughs> Alright, Azure just aged up to a toddler. He's got short hair and he's cross-eyed. Love that. That's- Oh my god, my game is lagging, please. I'm scared. I'm scared it's gonna crash. I'm scared it's crash. Then I'm gonna do a regal save cleaner. Because we've been playing this town for a minute. I think I think it's time. I think it's time, everyone, to do a regal save cleaner. It is time. Come on. It's starting to take a while to save. Oh, she wants to teach Breeze to talk. Collect the rainbow gem? No. still have this plum opportunity oh my god please game it's it's lagging i'm scared it's lagging i'm scared i'm scared all right let's see if we can ask dallas or trigger out on a date let's see if he'll accept it probably not but might as well try join pro protest what this is riverview there's a protest going on oh there is Okay, against hair dryers. Protest against hair dryers. Interesting. I don't know why this is the hill he's gonna die on, but I'm gonna see if I can't invite him out and ask him out on a date. We're trying to weasel our way back into his heart. It's probably against fashion. Fashion. Oh, he says he says no. He's not interested. All right. Well, I guess I'll hunt you down then. Trigger. I guess I will hunt you. Oh my god, the game is just it's freezing every couple seconds. Look at this. What is going on? Someone must be stuck or something. No one can be fashionable. Nobody's allowed to be fashionable. Okay, hi. Let's see if we can form a group with him, maybe? Mally, thank you for the gift, too! Malachi has gifted a sub to Post Malone. Dude, really? Not Post Malone. <laughs> Not Post Malone. Okay, Posty. Okay, stop crusading against fashion, Trigger. Let me talk to you! Do I really have to join this protest in order to get... Please, Trigger, please. Please. Oh, the police are here to split it up. Oh, no. Oh, she's partaking. 
She's partaking in it. Who now, Mal? Jimmy Fallon. Oh, God. Malachi has gifted a sub to Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Not Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> One, two, you look upset. All right, let's tell Trigger he looks upset. What's he gonna say? He's gonna be like, no! How dare you? I know, he's actually accepting it. Okay, I, guys, I think, I think, I think he's letting, he's letting us back into his heart. It's just like a toxic relationship. He says, I just moved into a new house. Did you? Did you actually move into a new, I don't think he moved into a new, okay, we're gonna go back home. Um, I don't think he moved into a new house. No, he's still at the trailer park. This is Sage's save. <laughs> now, why is he on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> hey Jimmy <laughs> doesn't T-Pain have a does he? I know Snoop does doesn't Snoop have a channel? I know he streams I don't know if it's on Twitch though oh Snoop does stream on Twitch okay oh why are my plants dying when I harvest them? I'm so confused it's like Sage has not a magic touch Oh my god, now she wants to go on a date with Dallas. Girl, please. I know you're a mess, but for the love of God, pick one lane and stay in it. Pick one lane and stay in it. Please. You're my best friend. You're probably his only friend. Let's be real. She's stinky. She doesn't even have time to like change into her cute little gardening outfit I gave her. Oh, she's sick now. Damn it. Someone give me a run on why is Sage heartbroken. So Sage was being a messy girl and she cheated on Trigger who finally agreed to date her and then they broke up and now she's heartbroken much oh my gosh why is everything broken in my house why not him pillow fighting with the air because we don't because it's an imaginary friend doll <laughs> why is this kid crying oh my lord bro only has his imaginary friend he does that's it that's all he's got only his imaginary friend doll okay i guess we're going to be Going on a date with Dallas, because that's how she wants to live this life. Rex, thank you! Oh my gosh! Rex underscore Reagan 13 just subscribed. Yay! We are two years old together. Yes, we are two years old together. Oh, it's six in the morning! What? How is it six in the morning? Oh my lord! She didn't sleep the whole night. She's just been vibing. She's been running on pure vibes. Congrats on your apartment, Rex. That's exciting. Oh, brother, will this baby shut? <laughs> just shut, not shut up. Will you just shut? All right, one kid is leaving, thank God. He's going to school. I think he's got a field trip today. Kimolian. Thank you, Kimolian. I like your name. Who's the Don Lothario equivalent in Sims 3? Don Lothario is in Sims 3. Don Lothario is featuring himself in Sims 3. But to answer your question, it just depends based on the town. Don Lothario is Don Lothario. <laughs> you have to read it in the voice of fish from spongebob oh brother will this guy just shut up ruben and bridgeport i would say it's more matthew hamming honestly matthew hamming and bridgeport is very very all over the place oh oh brother this guy's dead i forgot the quote i got confused because <laughs> of what egg mendez wrote i'm really bad at like when someone asks me to um, repeat something, I'm always bad at like repeating it exactly. I always mess it up some way, somehow. Whenever I quote things. Oh, the kid's already home. 
Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Those chandelier... Those chandelier rug are out to get us all. I had to put it down before it got me. Total self-defense. Ramble trigger broke after being caught busting the item at Dallas Shallow's home. Not Dallas... Not trigger wanting revenge on Dallas for breaking up his relationship. <laughs> It's literally revenge. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. That's so funny. Deserved, yeah. The tea is teeing. Alright, please get over here before six so I can sell all these. Look how much stuff we have in our inventory. Oh, she has life fruit. That's cool. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please, Sage. Oh, she's just making it. No, it just closed at six. <sighs> ah, man. The store just closed. All right, let's see if... Let's see if maybe... Oh, he's, he's engaged to Laurel Grisby? She was our ex-best friend. Wow. Really? That's crazy. Trigger is engaged to Laurel. We had we had to keep an eye out for her. We literally had to keep an eye out for her when we were in a relationship with with him. We literally can't trust these men. Yeah, again, dude. You cannot trust these men in this town. I guess you also can't trust Sage, though, so. I guess you can't trust Sage either. Oh, here's Trigger. Okay, we're gonna go and dispel rumors. Listen, this was nothing, Trigger. It, it didn't mean anything. Um, All the rumors you're hearing, they're not... Oh, he does not believe us. Oh, no, he believed us. Okay, cool. Can we get back together with him is the quote. Where is he going? He he goes to this cute little bakery. I got all the food here. Look at the wet. We got wedding cakes, cookies, breads. This place is stocked. I have a mod. Oh god, we need to we need to do we need to do a reset. I feel a reset coming through here. But I want to see Enros cupcake. We got auto restock on fill entire display with one recipe no enable elegant restocking sure stable auto restock no i really like enros cupcake i think it's cool but if you don't have the deliciously indulgent bakery it will literally crash your game if you try to start it with that enros mod yeah you literally can't stand sage like he's like intentionally running from her i swear oh we caught him on the side of the road let's see if we can form a group with him Oh, he's joining a group. Let's go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna slip back into his heart. I'm telling you guys, we can do this. We will we will do this. We will fall back in love with him, or I will force him to fall back in love with me. What? Words can simply not describe the displeasure when I'm in your presence. Why did you even agree to go out in a group with me? All right, let me see if we can invite him to our house. Let's see if that works. Save. All right, we'll save. Fine, we'll save. I hate how they join the group and then immediately leave. Like, why? Why do this to me? The little lag spikes are also giving me this spooks. I think I need to do a Regal Safe Cleaner. Town is getting a little bloated. A little bloated. Yeah, he joined the group just to insult me. Like, what? He is coming over to our house, though, but also his son lives with us, so, I mean, that's another reason he may be coming over. All right, babysitter, you can leave, finally. <laughs> After I've left my son here for... Oh, this poor kid. He's just trying to sleep. He's just trying to vibe. Change his diaper. Get him on the floor. Always babies crying at this house. All right, you can wait a second for me, Trigger. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get us to love him again. Or get him to love us again. You can go back to sleep, kid. You can go back to sleep. I'm calling him kid because I just... I don't know their names. 
We're gonna ask him if he wants to spend the night. Let's see, spend the night at my house. You know, they spend the night once, and it's just like I can romance somebody in one night in this game. Oh my gosh! Do you want to sleep over? Who redeemed the Triver baby? Izzy redeemed the Triver baby. Izzy, come on. Izzy, come on. Well, Izzy didn't say which sim she wants, so I can't count it. <laughs> Speed run three kids. We do need three kids for the challenge. We do need three kids for the challenge. Oh, he's getting in our bed? Okay. I mean, I guess we were dating him at one point. Izzy says, I want Dallas. Damn it, Izzy finally said who she wants. Hi, Tosh. We are doing the Sims 3 Store Worlds Legacy Challenge. Oh, he's left. Okay, well, here's the thing, right? Every time he comes over, we're getting our relationship up with him more and more and more and more and more. So I'm okay. I'm okay with. Oh, I just didn't move Mon like I have in The Sims 2. Okay. I'm trying to move objects on. Um, no, but every time he comes over to our house, we're getting our relationship up more and more with him. So I'm okay with that. Just collecting baby daddies like Pokemon. True. Listen, Sage is here for the vibes. She's not here to be monogamous. Let's make that clear. <laughs> She's here for the vibes. Oh, did someone move into the Grandpa's Grove house? No, they didn't. It's too expensive, probably. I mean, we're actually financially doing pretty well, I think, for all things considered. All the kids we have. Oh, no, Dallas and Becky Flynn are an item. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, wait, Dallas is... It doesn't say he's dating anybody, though. He has a big personality. Facts, Diego. Factuals. We're gonna put Breeze in the crib, go to sleep. Dawn and Trigger suck as dads, true. This is very true. All right, here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna play one last day before stream ends and we're gonna try. I don't know if he'll accept, okay. We're gonna try to redeem Izzy's try for baby with with Dallas. I'll try, but he may not accept. I feel like he will though, because we're romantic interest with him. So I think we should be fine. Why is this baby anxious to advance? <laughs> it's the ambitious trait, so he's anxious to advance as like a two-year-old. Love that. Let's just age up. Probably pretty soon. Now three days. We have time. We have time. Oh my god, this garden out here is just so sad. Look at this garden. It's a mess. All right, let's send. We have to bring. Let's grab our baby because we need to go down to the consignment store. Oh, Chiquita's coming home with Azure. Okay. That's interesting. That's Dallas Shallow's niece who he was reading to and taken care of. We're gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm honestly gonna try to woohoo, but I don't know if I'll accept it. The stink cloud, yeah, I need to have her take a shower. I just, I needed to get over here before six so that we can sell all of our fruits. Like, look how many we have. This will be bank. This will actually be bank. Hopefully, praying. I say that it'll be bank, then we like don't make any money from it, but it's okay. Oops, I didn't mean to sell the rare seed. It keeps going. The list just goes on and on and on. We have life fruit. I should have her eat those. I don't know why these spotlight mushrooms are worth so much. Like, someone tell me, please. Is it because they're our expansion pack? I don't know. All right, we're going to go back home now. Oh. 
did she just gain a skill in? <laughs> Dang, what is this, Whole Foods? <laughs> Alright, it's time. Oh, she got promoted. Let's go. What is her skill in gardening? She's level six. She's a bushwhacker. Alright, we're gonna go take a shower. Oh, we got a letter from somebody. Oh, she got her level 10 in gardening. Let's see. Let me see this. Look at that. Gardening level 10. Let's go. Oh, Sage got a letter from Dallas Shallow. Insane. I'm gonna have her eat life fruit for dinner. I think it gives them days back, right? Or it adds days to their lifespan or something. Oh, it takes a day away. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go to Dallas's mansion that he's not at, but he will be because I will summon him over. He's... These mini lags are scaring me a lot. I'm scared that um, my game's gonna crash. That's crazy because a starry is the father of my child. <laughs> the gene pool of this town's next generation is gonna be slim. Well, lucky enough, we're moving to Barnacle Bay for the next generation, so we won't have to worry about it. Although I don't know if that's much better because Barnacle Bay has some messed up genetics too. So I'm going to bring uh, the baby with us because I don't want to pay a babysitter to take care of our child. So let me grab him. Dude, game, please stop freezing, my guy. Let me go here. Imaginary friend. He's got to be like best friends with this imaginary friend. He does. Yeah. Well, I remember there's this one guy named Bart. Oh, I saved him. I forgot I saved him to my Simvin. I should plant some of these seeds. These unknown seeds. Baby Breeze, let's go mommy to get you a new sibling. Why is this front door open? He's just letting me in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna summon Dallas over. Dallas, get your butt at your house. Get over here. Let me in. Where is he at? Oh, he's on the. Why are you on the side of the road, my guy? Where are you going? What, dude? Where? Why are you at the junkyard? God, why I do this to me? Now Sage is like yelling about something again. She's yapping about something. Supernatural. She does not like supernaturals. Sage is prejudiced against supernaturals, I guess. Where are you going, Dallas? Oh God, please just get over here. Kizzy, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. He's being, he's being difficult. He's being complicated. He's being so complicated. What, where? Okay, now I think now he's coming home. Yes, there he is. Now he's coming home. Leave the man alone. He's finding scrap. For what? All right, let's greet him. There's a try for baby on the line, Dallas. There's a try for baby on the line. All right, we're gonna go right up to bed. Do try for baby. He's, of course, gonna accept it. Get into bed. Get into bed. Get over here, Dallas. There it is. There's the tribe baby. Why is her... Oh, it's because she's sick, right? Okay, wait, why is that... Why was that disappointing? Bad woohoo. Why, though? All right. Just Breeze casually sitting on the, the porch step. Oh, he's about to say, take care of Breeze. I should have... I should have let him, so I don't have to do it. All right, time to go home. And we're going to leave the stream on a cliffhanger if she got pregnant or not. Cliffhanger for next stream. All right, let's save. Save. And that is going to be stream, guys. I hope you did all enjoy. 
Sage being messy per usual. Have to see if she got pregnant in the next stream. I don't know. I'll probably play Sims 2 pretty soon. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where the where the generation goes, next generation. I don't know if that bald kid is gonna be our next generation, Dawn's kid, but we'll have to see. We will have to see. Alright, good night guys. Bye. Have a good night.